Hey everybody. Hey, we're we're gonna get started here in just a minute. Come on in. Put your seatbelt on. Make sure you have underwear. We're about to take off. Growing up, my mom told me, make sure you always pack several clean pairs of underwear. I always thought that was pretty weird. I was like, mom, why? She's like, you don't want to ever be caught dead with dirty underwear on. And I took that to heart and I said, you know, she's right. She's right. Magadangabi. Sai yo. Yo. Magadangabi. Rin. What's going on, Oro? Good to see you, man. All right, let's bring this in, shall we? Let's go. Yo, what's up, Tulips? He's here. Oro is here. And Q has been uh, Q's been messaging in the Discord, so <laughs> good to see him, too. Um, hi, everybody. I almost canceled the stream today. Almost. That opening about underwear, though, it's important. It is, it is very important. To this day, I have not gone anywhere without clean underwear. Who even goes commando in an airplane? You'd be surprised. <laughs> you would be very surprised. The penguin. Okay, I want to see it. I want, okay, there it is. I see it. Hold on. Yo! This is what I'm talking about. This. All right, this is what's up. You guys ready to see this? Okay. I kind of expected this to be gory. I mean, I didn't give you something with uh, crayons, you know? Uh. <laughs> it's free real estate. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So let's uh, let's bring you guys in. Hold on one second. Let's uh, we'll talk about it. Oh, my daughter's home. There is a slight possibility I may have COVID. But there's also a large possibility that I do not have COVID. Some of our close, uh, close families have been struck with it and I I'm triple boosted just so everybody knows. All right. I, I, and so is everybody in my family, except the two youngest just because they can't. Um, so I'm really not worried about it. Hashtag kind of worried about it. We'll be fine using as content. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is, this is big brain moves right here. All right. You guys ready? There we go. This is Q's work. Sorry about that. I had to get, I had to talk a little bit. Dude, this is brilliant. There's those fingers, like I was saying. You got the penguin. And it's a grenade launcher. Dude, like, how could you be upset? This, I would say, nailed it. It's 40, wait, wait, okay. The fingers are the barrel. But I'm trying to design the trigger and launch system. This is 40, 42% to distract from the blood. I added googly eyes. And I think the googly eyes are like the most perfect touch. Honestly, I I'm putting this in like eight, eight point three out of ten. I mean, especially if there's more to come to this. Is that Ver with a resub? Seven bazillion grillion years in a row? Is that true? Yo, thank you very much for the uh, resub, man. Thanks for being here with me all that time. That's a that's impressive. That is impressive. I, I, wow. Wow. Thank you, Q. I appreciate you sharing this beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork with us. Uh, what a great way to open it up. You nailed it, my dude. You nailed it. If, listen, if there's anything, if there's anything that I need. Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, hold on one second. Give me, give me like five minutes. All right. I, I'm sorry to do this right in the beginning, but, um, yes, really. Hey, can you guys hold on just for a second? I just need to talk to my daughter real quick. All right. Hold on.
Okay. Um, sorry about that, everybody. Burlinator, good to see you, man. Hey. All right. So here, let me. Can I bring you guys in on something? Like, um, like, cause I, there's no like for sureness. Okay. There's no. There's no for sureness. But there is a small possibility that we've all been exposed to COVID. That's me. That's you. That's my next door neighbors. All of us. And while we're on here, hold on. What what's in here? This is oh, this is path of building. Um, perfect. Let's go over to because uh, what I'm about to say probably needs a little bit of uh, uh, co wait coronavirus. Um, this probably ta uh, needs a little bit of like talking. All right. This right here is actually, I hate going to the guardian. All right, but I'm going to just for this one particular, um, I, I need everybody to kind of be on the same page because we're not messing with Delta and alpha and all that stuff. The likelihood is there's a possibility. I already have coronavirus or I will have coronavirus. And so do you, or will you? It sucks, man, because everybody's on pins and needles, right? And keep in mind, I'm triple vaxxed. My entire family is triple vaxxed, right? Again, except for the two youngest ones, just because they're not eligible yet. But as soon as they are, we're going to be over there. I think it's important to know that this isn't like Delta where you get coronavirus and you're like, I can't believe you gave it to me. Like this is this may be beyond like our I don't know. It's nasty out there. So I just want to point this out, right? Because my daughter may have been exposed. I may have been exposed. You may have been exposed. My cousin may have been exposed. We all are being exposed on a daily basis. If you leave your house, it's okay. If you're vaccinated, you'll be fine. More than likely. All right. Hold on. Let me read the chat here real quick. Cause I left and, and missed something. I uh, got the tattoo. Nice dude. If you get that tattoo, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I do like it, Q. I think you did a great job, by the way. It's my style, super rad. Hell yeah. Please show us when it's finished. I can't wait to see the rest of it. Yo, what's up, Waji? Good to see you. Yeah, I like a finger grenade, too. I can I can give you some pretty uh, crazy ideas to draw. All you got to do is ask me. Maybe I should put that as a channel reward. Prime, prime my artwork. <laughs> Yo, Berlinator, how are you today, man? I hope you're well. Only start after Jack answered my dude. I will answer that anytime you want for, for artwork like that. That's worth it. You're about to leak an ocean from your eyes right now, dude. You're fine. You are absolutely fine. Tell on Jack says crotch as an answer. Yeah, that's true too. Crotch is one of those weird words. Like you use it when you're younger, but like as an adult, you don't necessarily use it very much. Like, just the only reason why I'm even saying the word crotch is because you wrote it in the chat. But outside of that, I probably haven't used that word in literally years. That's interesting. Seeing someone I look up to as much as Jack. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty up there. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yo, you know what? I watched Ellie last night. I watched Ellie play Warzone last night. You guys know who that is, right? Ellie K. He, he's he's kind of like a new follower in the last week and a half. Anyway, I saw his stream last night and honestly, pretty good stream. I mean, he doesn't really engage with the audience, which I understand because he's playing Warzone. He doesn't want to die. He's really freaking good at it. But uh, it was great for a night stream. I didn't have to talk at all. I just watched for like a couple hours. It was actually pretty nice. Uh, new Zealand and North Korea overpowered here then. Oh, big time, big time, dude. I'm just saying here in American, right here in American, here in America, we just don't use that word a lot. Legion Rev. No, 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 no. I am Groot. Yeah, we are coronavirus. No, you know what? Dr. Fauci um, went out there and uh, all, all of his team has been just trying to tell people like, listen, Omicron is one of the most, I really hate making my stream about fucking coronavirus. I, this, this is one of the one areas I actually hate talking about, 
but I almost feel obligated because it's such an important topic in our, our world right now. Cause every time man, I get stun locked on, on freaking COVID and I hate it to this day. I've never had COVID never, but I haven't been feeling good the last few days. Like I've been sore. I like, I don't know. My body's been like sore. I've been going to bed a little bit earlier than normal. Like, I don't know if, if it's that time of the month or if, if I have COVID or it's just one of those things, I don't really know. We're going to push through it either way. That's all we know how to do. Right? So I'm just putting it out there, man. And you guys get COVID scares. Just understand. I think we're all going through it right now. Like the U S is putting up like a million plus positives every single day. I'm not going to read this whole thing. There's no freaking way. There is no way. I just want everybody to know that if you get it one, I hope you're vaxxed. If you're not vaxxed, can you do me a favor? Can you not tell me that you're not vaxxed? Like, just don't tell me. Cause man, that's going to hurt my feelings. Like that actually bothers me more than anything else. When somebody comes into my chat and they're like, I'm not vaxxed, especially, especially if it's by choice. Like if you're not vaxxed by choice, just keep that to yourself. I don't even want to know. I literally don't want to know. All right. I just wanted to, um, uh, point that out because Today's chat, today's stream is going to be not that long. I think I wasn't going to stream today. I literally at nine 30, I was pacing around the room and I was thinking about going to the discord and typing in no stream today. Cause that would have been the easier thing, right? That, that would have been so much easier. Just type no stream today, open path of exile, play six hours. Like that would have been. That would have been the move. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm trying to be a better streamer. Plastic rebel asked me last night if I would play modded among us, uh, next Friday. And, um, I don't think I'm going to, I'm going to, I have to decline the offer. And, um, I, I just don't think the value is there anymore. And, um, that's probably something we should talk about a little bit too, right? For, especially for streamers out there. Last time we played modded among us, it's not his fault either. Right? So I'm not, this isn't to shit on plastic rebel because I understand how he likes to play the game and I understand why he's playing the game, but we're not on the same page. As far as that goes, I want to explain why. I don't necessarily think it's a good idea for me to play among us along with other games. One, there's no value in the content. Nobody's watching it. It's over among us is over except for like a few thousand people. That's it. The days of among us being even remotely cool to use TikToks to do videos with and all of that is gone. It's like a year ago, like at least 10 months ago was probably the last shining moment that you could use for among us, but it's more than that. Among us is not like goose goose duck. The conversation is stinted, right? It's stunted. It's, it's not, you can't have a conversation. So you could say like, well, you could just come meet some other content creators, right? And, uh, and that's a great point, but I don't think I want to, I not those content creators. I, I, I need to meet just chatting content creators. I need to meet offline TV content creators, like gaming content creators aren't necessarily my ticket at this point. So, um, but I also want to point out that even if I don't play, which I, I think I'm going to, I'm going to decline. Um, I will promote the living shit out of it for him. Okay. So even though I may not want to play among us, um, I still want to promote that content creator lobby. I think it's still important. All right. So that's that. Um, I don't think they play among us that much anymore. That's what I mean. Like it's done. Like it's, it's over. The problem is like, even if I go and play 
Among Us with Plastic Rebel for three hours. One, I don't play it competitively. Two, I can't reuse the content anymore. Three, if I stream it, nobody's gonna watch it. And four, the content creators I may or may not meet during a one minute, you know, meeting um, because it doesn't have prox chat. And I know that um, Plastic Rebel doesn't use proximity chat. Uh, there's literally zero reason for me to play it other than being a body on the on the board. And on a Friday night for three hours, I just don't think so. Um, but Plastic, I, I still love you, man. I, I'd rather play. I'd rather play like golfing with friends, something I potentially could reuse on TikTok or, or YouTube or just anywhere. Um, I, I'm just done playing the old games that nobody's watching anymore. Like, I don't even play Goose Goose Duck. Like, literally, I played for one hour with Matthew the other day. And and that was just quick. It's during my stream time. It, it was fine. So anyway, I don't know. I, I didn't turn on the stream to bitch. I promise I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody today? How are you guys? Is everybody good? It's good to see you guys, by the way. I, um, yesterday was kind of a short stream. Un Unjack sus. Hold on, hold on. We need to probably spin up the tweets. Yo, I lost enough followers to get underneath uh, 50.7. This is good. We're gonna start getting our regular followers in. Let's uh, let's show you guys what's up with the Twitter. Sus jacked. Since I've come back, uh, we've lost some people, which is great. Um, because this this account was just filled with a lot of people. Um, you know, like Mr. Grow it. I follow him. He doesn't need to follow me though, right? But like, uh, not followed, but like if, so see, like it'll say follows me. So I need to probably get rid of like a lot of these people. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we, we don't need to, like, we just need to unfollow a bunch of these people. They don't follow me anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Right. We probably need to clean up ours just a little bit. I mean, if they're not following me, who cares, right? Unfollow, right? Get rid of them. Because I don't know these people. These are from like years ago. Tash.0, beautiful. There we go. All right, we got rid of five, right? <laughs> Unsussed. Dude, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I love the gameplay of Among Us. I just, every time I think about it, I'm just like, for what? Like, why, why would I? I mean, if it's just to play with like plastic and all, then that's, you know, that's different, but I don't want to do that on a Friday night. I want to, I want to hang out with the fam on Friday night. All right, let's go to unjacked. I'll deal with a Ted's later. I'm not going to do that on the stream. All right. I've decided I'm just going to do that later. Okay. Notifications. Let's check this out. Let me see. Jay tweet Abaduck. All right. All right. We need to, we need to blast off over here. We need to get up into those clouds. We need to, we need to hit the moon. All right. Um, every wait, what do I want to make this tweet about? Oh shit. Q, you got any ideas, man? What should I do here? Man, sometimes I get stun locked by my own self, you know? By the way, just so everybody knows, I did have an edible before the stream started. So in like an hour from now, this could be a very different stream. I'm just letting you know right now. I've already had an edible, which is something I normally don't do before the stream. Um, so I have no idea where this takes us today. I just know, um, I just know it's time. Um, um, let's go stream is open. Um, chat is primed. And I have pants on. Well, no, actually, that's not true. I don't have pants on. I actually have shorts on. So um, we'll 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 come up with something else then. I, I actually don't have pants on. I would be. I don't want to be a liar on Twitter. You know, remember, you can't delete tweets, right? Yo, what's up, Delfino? What's going on, dude? 
Good to see you, man. All right, let's uh, we're doing a tweet right now. I'm trying to like let everybody know. Um, we are getting into wait, what do you guys want to talk about today? I actually don't really have an agenda for today because I, I don't really feel that great and I wasn't going to stream. But I mean, we can still get into stuff. Does anybody have anything in particular? I, I'm asking you guys just, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I mean, otherwise I'll come up with something. Uh, you don't have pants on since it'd be technically true. Oh, and I don't have pants on. Hmm. Hold on. Let's think this one through. What do I want to communicate to my audience, right? What do I want to communicate to people? Actually, you know what? Let's start this over. What's what's trending? Can we just, can we go there? How do I know what's trending? Where is everything? Hey, is there anything I can retweet though? Hold on one second. I'm Matthew. Let's get a heart on that. Uh, let's also go ahead and lurk in Matthew's stream real quick. Hold on one second. You guys can't see this, but I can. So uh, Matthew is online right there. He's playing crab game. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that Matthew or is that Bruno Mars? <laughs> He's got his fedora on. I like that. He's such a go-getter. I love that guy. Anyway, uh, he watches Kirk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he? Wait, Matthew does? Dude, that's such a great channel, man. Look at this guy. He's uh, he's putting it up, man. He's definitely putting it up. Um, yeah, I love these guys. I think they're freaking amazing, dude. Um, are is our meat really that bad? Um, yeah, we could get in here and, uh, I'm going to retweet that, right? Put some other content on my, my, my Twitter of my Twitter. Yo, what's going on here? Uh, Bex, Bex is the lead for uh, path of exile. She's, she's pretty awesome actually. Um, all right. So we're just getting through this. Hi everybody. Welcome into the stream. Come on in, man. Um, Oh my God, she wants to help. God, I wish I was just so, just so she can help me. Just so she can. Ch yeah, I don't know if I should retweet that. Maybe I shouldn't. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get back to the profile. All right, let's uh, let's think about this. Yo, we we are so close to 100 followers on this account. We are literally so close. All right, uh, uh, get in here. Uh, stream starting covering, uh, let's see current. Oh, wow. There's nothing for, okay. Uh, covering current. Wow. Uh, one day I'm gonna be able to spell current events. Um, what, what else? Anybody, does anybody have a, who's out there? That's really good at tweeting, uh, tweeting. I need a coach, man. I got, I got to hire somebody to tutor me. I wish AOC would tutor me. I, I would just like flame everybody. Um, what else? I don't, I don't have anything. Um, hopefully don't have COVID. Uh, if you like my penguin, I posted a few more. Oh shoot. Ellie's here. Hey, Ellie. I need to get used to using Google Trends. I actually love Google Trends. I have not used it in so long. By the way, great stream last night, dude. Ellie was was letting people catch some uh, some lead last night in Warzone. I watched them for a few hours. It was actually quite entertaining. You're very good, dude. You're very good at the game. I just wanted to point that out. All right, so how do I know? Okay, so I do need to get used to this. So Google Trends, man, this guy freaking rocks. Thank you, Ellie, I appreciate that. Uh, what am I, okay, so I need to figure out, explore streaming. Let's see what, what people are doing for streaming, all right? Um, Vermont, House of Gucci, Halloween, I don't, okay, I'm gonna have to figure this one out. I know what I'm looking up today. I'm looking up more videos, man. If you like my penguin, I posted a few more of my old works. Oh, yes, I do, sir. Yes, I do. 
Oh, snap. Yo, here, I'll show a few of them, okay? Here's one from, from Q. This is this is one of Q's artwork. Wasn't an attorney last night? Oh, no, I know. Oh, I saw you. But the scoring got postponed, so I have no idea where we placed. Well, I mean, I understand that you caught a few, uh, a few in a bad position towards the end. But, like, for the most part, dude, you were crushing it. All I kept on thinking was how many Geneva Convention rules you broke last night by killing people coming down with their parachutes on. I was just thinking, like, oof. Oof. The tribunal would not like what they're seeing right there. <laughs> All right, here, let's get another one here. Here's, here's another example from Q. These are great, dude. These, these are wonderful, and I appreciate you sharing them. And then this is the last one he shared. Um... These are fantastic though, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Those are from a few years ago. None of them are finished. No, that's okay, man. I'm not looking for finished pieces. As, as Elky. <laughs> it's so, it's so different. It's, it's so different watching those type of games on, on stream because normally Hold on, we'll go back to just chatting. Normally, normally, I don't watch those type of games uh, at night. Normally, I watch anything that's just chatting. For me, and it could be because I'm a little bit older, but I still like watching games sometimes. Like last night, I enjoyed watching you play uh, Warzone quite a bit. Um, yeah, I popped in uh, right about... Well, it was 9 p.m. for me, and I think you finished up just after midnight. So I was there for at least three hours. But like, sometimes I'm in the mood for gaming, but most of the time, I I just like the conversation. But at night, I don't want to type to people on my phone or, or like in their chat. Like, at night, I kind of just want to get lost in the moment because it's like the only time of the day that I don't get to like like i'm usually on right like in the discord uh, on the stream if i'm playing games i'm i'm on right like i'm entertaining but at night when i want to go to sleep i like somebody else to do that entertaining that heavy lifting for me so i can i can bring it down and get ready for bed and uh, ellie was that for me last night anyway that was pretty awesome i wasn't even sniping last night that's what people accuse. Well, yeah. Well, I remember right at the end, you were like, this guy's hacking. And I started thinking, like, wait, how the hell do you hack in this game without getting caught? It's such a, ma a major game. But, dude, you were crushing it, man. Like, I can't play at your level. I literally, I, I could never step it up to that. And that's a big reason right there why, at my age, Twitch becomes a very different thing. Like, how many, how many of guys my age... Are you seeing in there wrecking shit, right? Probably not a whole lot, to be honest. Yeah. Inanimate objects come to life as fighters. Dude, that's pretty dope though, man. Like, honestly, I can remember when I was in college taking like drawing 101 and I was just sitting there doing like still lives or nude models, models or, you know, that kind of stuff. And it was very interesting. It taught me how to, the, the biggest thing that really taught me how to draw my mother, um, she would pay for private art lessons when I was a teenager with this lady that she had a deal with. She was a professional artist and my mom um, made a deal with her where I got like 10 free lessons or whatever. And on like the third one, she was like, I know your issue. She's like, because my mother used to drag me to church all the time when I was a kid. I hated it too. So I'd always sleep and snore really fucking loud in the church. Oh, I hated it so bad. I it just, oh, I mean, no offense to anybody that's a believer or anything like that, but it ain't me, man. But that art teacher told me, she said, hey, you know what you should do? Bring your sketchbook into church and draw everybody. And so I did. Every single weekend I showed up with my art book and I just started drawing people at church. I got a little bit better. It was, it was nice because I was there anyway. So why not just draw all the people that are around me? That slime guy is slime. It, it was a fighter. Dude, I thought that was really good, man. Yeah, 
No worries, Ellie. I really enjoyed it. Thank you for uh, the stream last night. It was good. I don't know how often you stream, but I did enjoy that. Uh, the concept of the analogy is coming. Yeah, I think it was really good. Hackers were super bad before it got better with this. Oh, see, I mean, it just sucks when you have hackers in there, right? Because they don't add anything. That's that's the worst part. He's almost as powerful as the, as vacuum. Jesus. No, no, no. My my mother didn't spark my art. She had a friend that was an artist and she was giving her like 20 bucks an hour to give me private lessons. It wasn't like anything crazy. She gave me like five or 10 lessons. It was nothing, right? It was nothing that was going to change my life. But during one of those sessions, she was like, hey, you should do X, Y, Z. And she taught me shading. That was the other thing the lady taught me. Because that was my, those are the things that I hurt the most on. Like I, I struggle to draw like um, portraits, people, right? But once you learn how to divide the face into threes and you get the, the oval going, it does make life way easier. But my issue was the shading and getting the lighting. That was where I struggled the most. Um, no, my my mother, um, my mother sparked my entrepreneurship. That's what my mother sparked. Um, my art was was really through my dad's side of the family. My grandfather was an amazing painter. My dad was just an epic woodworker, jewelry boxes down to the fine detail. Like he was so creative and he could draw and he could paint. And then it just went right down um, my, my genes. Um, all my daughters are unbelievable at artwork. Like painting, drawing, creating, sculpting. Like they, they got the gene completely. Well, you can tell, I mean, my, my oldest daughter painted all, everything back here, right? She painted both these goose goose ducks. Um, you guys can't see the among us poster in front of me, but she painted that, uh, she painted the plants versus zombies. That's over here. Like these are just some of her, her works, you know, now I'm now my oldest daughter, she's 21. So it's, uh, you know, she's not like super young or anything. My oldest is about to turn 24 years old. And, and then my youngest is 14 going on 15. So I, I'm a young guy with older kids. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, did that make you grow on going to church? No, I refuse to go to church. I literally despise the church. Her forcing me to go to church made me, uh, made me just resent her and the church. That's what that did. This that sands the skeleton one that's four years old. Oh, really? Dude, that's unbelievable. I, I he's talking about this guy. He's talking about this one right here. I, I think this is brilliant, dude. This is great. My daughter is nine and the stuff she draws from watching YouTube. Uh, exactly. Like my youngest daughter, she draws like manga, manga, whatever you guys call it, <laughs> whatever you freaking guys call it. No, I'm just kidding. she draws like a lot of like anime and stuff like that. She's really big in anime and her shit is just mind blowing. Like every art teacher she has, she's like, hi, sir, come on in. Uh, I would just like to say she's my favorite student in the entire school. And I'm like, what a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> you make dude your pens your pens are incredible dude i might order one i may order one from you we'll see i've been thinking about what kind of pen would i want i i love pens i wish i had the the link to my friend's website the other guy that makes pens he does it with stamps on the barrel though he will go find some really creative shit for the barrel in stamps and he'll do that. He'll travel the world and get really crazy stamps. I think art is the coolest. Now, for those that don't know, I have my bachelor's degree is in digital design. So like all the artwork you guys see on my channel and stuff like that, that generally comes from me. I do all my own stuff. Like all my video editing is me. Like a lot of the stuff that I do, the websites that I built, I built those. I mean, they're down now, but I had built on Jack.com. Everyone that draws things, 
uh, has tried big up. Yeah, absolutely. I'm a huge fan of art. Like I think creativity is like one of the very few things that makes you unique. Like anybody can learn a math equation. Everybody can learn how minerals and, and the earth works. Everybody can learn like the stuff that's in the books, but it's really tough to teach creativity, right? How your imagination runs wild. Like that's, that's the hard part. Yeah. If art didn't work for you, what would you have done instead? I, I would have just done business. Um, my, my boss at the time was kind of pushing me to go get my IT degree in computer science, like network admin. And I did, I started my bachelor's in network admin because that's basically what my job was like. So when I was in the air force, these guys were absolute dicks for it too. Um, I did, I finished my degree when I was an instructor. I was a training instructor. Um, I basically taught communications to all the new airmen that came in the air force. And, um, I remember my boss sitting me down. I just got back from Korea and I just got stationed at Fort Gordon in Augusta, Georgia. And, uh, I was a training instructor at the technical school. And I remember sitting down, my new boss was like, so I know you're going to school right now. So what are you going to school for? I was like, well, I'm in graphic design. You know, he was like, oof. He's like, have you thought about your career? I was like, yeah, it'll be over in like eight years from now. And he was like, well, you know, a lot can change. You may want to consider maybe changing your major over to communications or something a little bit more relevant to your career field uh, so you can get promoted. And I said, absolutely not. I said, this career is for 20 years. This degree is for the rest of my life. Like, I don't want to do communication for the rest of my life. So I guess going with that story, I've always hated communications to some degree. The type that I did. I like the computers. I like, I like, you know, that kind of stuff. But like, I hated laying fiber optics and building antennas and, you know, hustling around giant deployable containers. Like it sucks, man. So I probably would have stuck with business. That's why I, that's how I got there. I, I'm explaining. I'm a lot of the stuff. When I say all these stories, I'm kind of explaining how I arrived at what I just said. I guess that's how I do it. Everyone can learn a math equation. I beg. Well, that's true, right? I can't, I'm too stupid to learn a math equation, but you could learn a math equation. Like everybody could. Whether you can or not, that's different. Like, I I don't know, but like you could, you could sit down and you could read the same exact book. But if I gave you, if I, if I sat down 10 people and I gave everybody one idea, like I gave to uh, um, uh, Q over here, like Fingers, Penguin and uh, Grenade Launcher, like I would have gotten 10 different pictures. You can't teach that. You literally can't teach that. You're gonna try to make a song in a moment? Yo, Falcon. What kind of song is it gonna be? That sounds dope, man. I'll be honest. Papyrus is spilling spaghetti on son's head. Yeah, I like that. As he should. <laughs> what the hell does red pill means? It means turning somebody conservative. If you've been red pilled, you've been uh you you've been forced to uh to listen to conservative Blue pill is more uh, liberal, progressive, Democrat. Red pill is more conservative, Republican, blah, 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 blah. It's a, it's a US thing. It's, I don't think it's like a world thing, is it? Is it? I actually don't know. Yo, Zilver, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? See the Matrix? I actually want to see the Matrix so bad, man. Yeah, it ain't, yeah. No, I think it's more of a US thing. Dude, has anybody in here seen The Matrix 4? Please, 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 please tell me it's so good. Red Pill in the UK would be left wing. Oh, yeah, you guys' politics are a little bit different. It's kind of like reversed. Like just the way you guys. I think that's correct. I, man, I hate to give misinformation. Hold on one second. Let me, let me, because it's not language I, I use a lot. 
Okay, here. Let's let's do this together. So this is this is what it means. Uh, hold on. Let's pause. Let's get music paused. Hold on. I'm chilling to this music. I can't help it, man. I'm vibing. All right, here we go. Red pill. Oh, it's just the word. I thought I was going to read the whole definition. Wow, that makes me feel dumb. Um, Republican in the U.S. Oh, I'm so sorry. Guys, I'm over here freaking flashbanging you like crazy. I'm so sorry. Okay. So red pill. Cause. Uh, someone to have their perspective dramatically transformed, especially by introducing them to a new and typically disturbing understanding of true nature of a particular situation. They are talking about conspiracy theories and claim they have been red pilled. Yeah, it's like you don't want to be red pilled. Like if you were going to be pilled, you'd want to be blue pilled. Trust me. Um, yeah, Republicans here are not like Republicans everywhere else. Um, if you're an American, that just means you're voting for one while in Ireland means, you know, oh, Jesus Christ. Well, hopefully nobody's exploding anything here. The new Matrix movie is so good. I got a bit of a headache because of the character plot. Really? I love the Matrix. For anybody that's not aware, I am such a Matrix. Like, like I will simp for the Matrix. I will do it right now. Got to go watch it. I want to see it so bad. I I love the Matrix. It, there, are only, there are only a few things that have kind of shaped like the way I think about the world. And I think the movie Casino is one of them. The movie Matrix, all three of them, is certainly another one. Battlestar Galactica reimagined. Absolutely powerful, powerful stuff. Um, there's really only a few uh, pieces of content out there that have shaped my life to that degree. And I would put the Matrix in there. And I know that's a, that's a powerful thing to say, but... If you couple the matrix with psychedelic mushrooms, like it will take you on to a different journey. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a true story. Don't worry, Jack. One day I'll show you my recent works. Hey, I can't wait, man. I love this kind of stuff. I literally love artwork. I, I think it's so good. I wish we could do some of that on the stream. That's something I've been trying to get my uh, oldest daughter to do. My oldest daughter, um, she paints so well. And and literally, I just want to put a camera like over her shoulder and a microphone, like a lavalier microphone, so she could just like paint and talk. Like, I, I just think she could stream on a whole different level like that, you know? Uh, have you watched The Expanse on Amazon? No, I have not. I literally have not. Hold on. Because I. Uh, the Expanse on Amazon. Okay. Sorry. I mean, I, I trust you. I won't have you forcing my fiance to do anything. Oh, well, I. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> but. You know, she should. She really should. She's that good, man. I can set it up for her. I literally have the camera for her. She has a computer that can totally do it. One day, man. She doesn't, she just doesn't have the confidence, I think. One day. So this is the expanse. It says Holden and the crew of the Rossinanti. That's a weird one. Uh, fight alongside the combined fleet of Earth and Mars to protect. Like, come on, man. There's no gravitational field and there's no magnetic field. Get off of it. Right. Mars is never going to happen. OK. To protect the inner planets from Marco Anaros and his free navies campaign. Oh, this is interesting. Beyond the rings, a new power rises. Um, season one through six included with prime. I've never watched Prime. This is season six, though. Oh, wow. These are 45 minute episodes. Whoa. My name is Marco Inaros. 
I am oh, the commander man. of the Free Navy, and we are the ones responsible for striking our oppressors on Earth and Mars. Today and forevermore, we are free. I hate to say this because I'd never watch Amazon Prime. Uh, God, uh, no, 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 I, I'm on Twitch. Amazon allows you to do the watch parties. I'm not going to get DMCA'd. It's just the intro. I'm just doing a trailer. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Hey, what's up, Nebraska? That's literally, I just wanted to know how to say the freaking name. It's so hard to read that name. Only if everyone has Prime. Well, I'm only doing like 30 second intro. I just need the trailer. That's it. Only if you are in watch party mode. Oh, well, all right. Well, I'm done. It's that's it. That's all. I just wanted to see the opening. I'm not going to watch it. All right, guys, guys. Then click trailer, not for season six. I just needed to see something. Well, all right. Well, it's over. It's over. If I get banned, I will have a, a, a coming back on party. All right. I literally don't want to watch it. I don't want to do a watch party. I just want to know what it is. And that's, that's it. So, all right. Um, we're not doing a watch party. It's on Amazon. I have prime. They'd let me play it. I don't know. Whatever. I'll, I'll cut it from this one. All right. Yeah, he, he was, I'm not going to, I'm doing great, man. Thank you for asking. How are you? I hope you're well. I don't want to get DMCA'd. I just wanted to know what the show was. I've never heard of it. And I, I probably just exposed at least 10 people to it that maybe will go and watch it. So if that's DMCA, then I guess so be it. I'll see you guys in a month or two days or something. <laughs> Dude, it looks good in blue. I like that. It's a show about different governments on uh, one based on Earth. Then you have another based on Mars. And you have the belters, people who live. That's interesting, man. I really like the concept. I might have to check that out. Uh, obviously, we're not doing watch parties. Um, it's not like that. Uh, belters are essentially the working class. Oh, get them out of here. Get those working people away from me. Ew, gross. They're so poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really surprised. Uh, that would be correct. Literally, if, if human beings could survive in space... The rich people would find a way to put all the poor people in space, you know? So anyway, thank you for sharing that with me. Now that I've seen the, the oh, I don't know, 15 seconds I played, um, it gives me an idea of what it is. Mars of the military superpower. That's interesting. Actually, that would make sense, right? Because it's easier to launch things from Mars because of the low gravity. Yeah, I guess I could see that. Uh, out of contacts on Jack time. Yo, I do like that. Uh, any, any time you can get me out of context, I, I guess it's a win for you guys, right? I know that the larger my audience gets, the more I'm going to be clipped out of context. And I'm just telling you right now, I'm okay with that. I mean, I'm, I'm going to fight it. Obviously, if somebody's like, see, he is racist. Look at that context. And, and like, you know, anything like that, I'll be like, well, I don't know about that. Why don't we rewind the clock a little bit? Uh, it's my job to keep them in line. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Saucy, I appreciate that. I don't think I could get in trouble necessarily for what I just did. Uh, I just wanted to see like 10 seconds, like get me in on this or not. Um, hopefully I won't get in trouble. If, if Twitch, if you're watching, oh, I'm sorry, man. I, I wasn't trying to break any rules. I just wanted to see if it was worth watching. So, and, and all these guys seem like they've already seen it. So I was the odd one out. Anyway, um, that's that. I don't plan on breaking any DMCA. I haven't done it in two years, and I don't plan on starting now. So I'll let Pokimane and Trainwrecks and XQC and all those guys break copyright, not me. Um, all right, so we got we got that out of the way. Uh, Red Pill, we're done with that. Thank you for sharing all this artwork. These are tangents that I was not expecting Hey, Ellie, are you, I don't know, Ellie, are you still here? I'm sorry. I don't mean to like bring you in. I just, I just have a question specifically because you brought it up. So I'm thinking maybe you might be able to answer this for me. Um, uh, I'll wait. Oh, he is here. Okay. So, um, just quick question for you for Google trends. How do you, if you don't mind like a quick, like sentence, like, do you use this on a regular basis or are you just telling me, Hey, this is a good resource for you to, I, I don't, I, I wanted to loop back around and ask you that. 
Like, how do you use it at, for like stream? If you do, if you do, um, can't believe you didn't warn him about DMC. <laughs> Guys, it's just the opening. It's like the first 10 seconds. I just need to know if they were in space or not. We didn't watch the episode. I didn't even oh, got the clip out. Damn it. Everybody's clipping me. I'm, I'm going to be clipped out of context so hard today. I can feel it. Uh, I'm narrowed down the category, put it in term, then see what else is trending. Oh, oh, okay. It's just, it's interesting. I don't, I mean, I've used it in the past when I was trying to do like keywords from like websites and stuff. I know how to use this. I'm aware of Google trends. So it's, you know, no issues there. Um, so you can remove that and then now you go in and you search. So for instance, if you want to know, I don't know, like uh, how many people are, are, you know, I'll just use this cause it's what we've been using, right? Search term, uh, coronavirus, right? Uh, you can compare it to another term and get another line up here. So you can see up here in 2021, a lot of people were actually searching for, uh, coronavirus information. Um, and you can see significantly it drops off. What a surprise. Uh, wait, what's this? 64. We have smaller state. I, this is my state. So people in my state don't give a shit about it, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. People in my state really care about it. Oh, this is good, guys. Oh, my God. My state is part of the good guys. Oh, it's not too often I get to brag about that, guys. All right. My state is in the good guys. Oh, man, this feels good. You can, you can tell right here between uh, October and November, this is when America gave gave the shit the least about coronavirus. They're like, I'm having my god dang Halloween and Thanksgiving, whether you like it or not. And then everybody did it, and then everybody got interested in coronavirus again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hope you're all happy to have you. And no, I'm I'm very happy to have you as well. You know. Um I don't worry, dude. I get nerded out too. All right. I know that this is supposedly like a parasocial um, thing, but like, I like, I like a lot of you guys. Like now that I've seen Ellie actually stream and like, I've heard him talk and stuff like that. Like, I kind of feel like I might know him a little bit, just a little bit, not, not too much. Let's not get carried away here. Right. But a little bit. Right. I, and the more I get to know you guys, I kind of, dude, I'm, I'm there too, man. I mean, I'm not all bricked up right now, but like, I'm, I'm I'm close, you know. <laughs> you seen a clip on Jack being mean to the working class? Not my unjacked. Oh no, Your Honor, I've never seen him like this. Um, I understand he's being belligerent right now. <laughs> yo, yo! Oh my goodness! Nobody gets clipped out of context more. Than Hassan, though. All right. In fairness, I don't think I've ever seen anybody get more clipped out of context than him. Um, so, I mean, that's that's one extreme. Right. But like I only get clipped out of context once in a while. <laughs> oh, my God. We've been streaming for over an hour. Oh, fuck. That edible just kicked in. Yeah, <laughs> let's go, dude. This is nice, man. This is very nice. He's talking about his lover boy. I'll be back in a few hours. We finish gushing about Hassan. Come on, man. If you could touch Hassan, you would too. All right. <laughs> Say it. Listen, I'm not into dudes, but if I was, I mean, I'd put Hassan up there. I'm sure. I see this. This is the problem with Hassan, though. He gets these compliments all the time. So to him, it's like, ah, it's just another one. Just keep bringing them in. Back that truck up, Mike. Let's go. Back it up. You know, full of compliments. Sometimes you got to take Hassan down a notch. And I think that's where LSF comes in. But now that he's banned on LSF, you're like, well, what do we got now? Well, now you get his P.O. box, right? And you write furrow browed messages in envelopes and you mail it to Hassan like a normal person. You don't put anything else in there. We're not here to hurt anybody, but you got to get the messages through. So his PO box is like last resort, just so everybody knows. All right. I uh, stream while high. I used to stream super baked for like a year straight. 
And then like, I think it was like four or five months ago, I told everybody like I wasn't going to eat edibles anymore before the stream. Because the stream was just always so weird, man. <laughs> I mean, in a good way, but like still. Uh, it's hard to get viewers for me when I stream because I start at... No, that's not the reason, Ellie. That's not that's not the reason why it's hard to get viewers. It's hard to get viewers because of the game you're playing. Literally, it's because of the game you're playing. Well, that and it's really hard to engage with the chat when you're playing a game like that. There's a couple reasons. But here's the thing. I, I will. Uh, oh, you late? Hey, you're out, dude. Are you out? You got to go. Hey, no worries, man. Have a good night, Oro. All right. To Logna. Um, actually, you're one of the rare exceptions. I would say you're good enough. You're good enough that you don't have to talk to your chat. Yeah, I don't say that very often, by the way. Actually, that might be the first time I've ever said that to somebody. Um, why is he banned on LSF? He has to be banned. So that way people would stop talking and posting clips about him. Like he was just tired of the bullying because people were just brigading him and, and just for no, you know, he's not getting a bonus out of it. He's already the largest streamer on the platform almost, you know, I mean, he's not, but like he is, you know, he's number 13 anyway. Yeah. Later beats. I, uh, I hope you have a good night, man. But like Ellie, you're one of the very few man that I would say you're good enough to not have to, to entertain the chat. Uh, you can just straight up and play. You literally held my attention for three hours. Like, I think if you were just constantly dying, I would have been like, oh, all right, I got to watch something else. But it was interesting enough that I actually watched it, and I hate watching games. So it says something, right? Um, I think in your case, you just need bigger exposure. Like, you have 109 followers, from what I remember from looking at last night. Um you just need exposure, you know, you need to be entering tournaments. You need to be playing with stronger players that have bigger platforms. You need to be finding your way into larger streams. Uh, Hassan is banned from my chats. <laughs> I will have number 13. Talk to me. Get out of here. 13. But the thing is, you're a B plus or above player, right? Like, of course, there's always somebody that's better than you, right? It, it's just, that's the nature of life. But if you're good enough, then you can stand on your own. You just, you don't have the exposure. I, I wish I could give you the exposure, but that's not my niche. My niche, all right? That is not my niche. <laughs> what, I mean is, what is this? <laughs> Bash. Is, hold on, hold on. Shut what? the fuck up. Know your fucking place. Trash. <laughs> oh, shit. I like that. It's actually pretty good. Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, if you're not... If you're not uh, streaming on a schedule, that's that's very difficult. And um, and and I understand, man. You know, I mean, just being able to get out there and do it when you can is is super important. I, I understand. I just know that until you have like a set schedule, like, and I'll give you a perfect example: the fact that I'm in just stream, uh, just chatting. I'm streaming and just chatting, right? I I have a little bit of an audience. But when my stream comes on, like everybody knows that I start my stream every morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It like once in a while, I'll have to call one off because of like an appointment or or like I'm not feeling good or something like that. But uh, anything outstanding of that, everybody knows when I'm on. So it's easy. Like I know within 30 seconds of going live, I'm going to have people in my chat. Or I mean... You know, 30 seconds, a minute, whatever. But like once you get to that, then you will also start seeing the regulars. And that may actually help you jettison up. But um, for you, I mean, you know, you could be active in the war zone subreddit. 
you could like, there's different ways that you can be, that you could be promoting without self promoting, you know? Cause honestly, if people just look up to you and, and your opinion matters, like, I mean, you know, even if you did something silly, like you had a, like a, a war zone or some kind of like streaming or, or like uh cod, you know, podcast, right. That you did on like YouTube once a week or something. And you just had like some of your guys come in and you talk about like your patch notes, you talk about like what's going on in the, in, in the niche. You know, you talk about like, you know, who's, who's coming up, who's, you know, ruling, you know, the tournaments. Like if you did something like that, you'd probably capture a huge audience for Twitch. I may have just given you the keys to the kingdom right there. Um, <laughs> to be fair, I don't have to, Yeah, I don't know. Absolutely. Um, something that made you mad. What made you mad, dude? A lot of people I watch are uh, back east because I uh, working and listening. Like, yeah, I mean, you do need more West Coast, but I'm here in New Hampshire and I still watched you past midnight. I don't really think it was that bad. And, and I don't think everybody goes to bed at 9 p.m. So I, I don't think your time slot is bad at all. Yeah, I, I don't think it's it's bad. That Jack Septicai's father had passed away a while ago. Yeah, I think I remember we talked about that a little bit. I want to say we did. I can't remember when it was, though. He's an interesting fella too. But yeah, dude, well, listen, if you ever decide to go down that road, Ellie, and you, and you, um, you get into streaming more and you need ideas of like how to get there, just let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to explore that with you. I mean, I, I know you're not asking me for that, but, um, if you, it's there if you ever want it. Um, completely news to me. The worst part is that people are still, uh, memeing about it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's the internet, man. There's just too many bad people here. You know, like it's it's just it's bad people all the way down. Any feedback is greatly appreciated. Yeah, no worries, man. Um, streaming's hard, especially now, because so many people are working from home. Like during during this whole COVID thing and the lockdown and stuff. Like, if you're just coming into streaming, you probably didn't feel this, but two years ago, really like a year and a half ago, especially. Like any kind of streaming gear was sold out, you know, a, a, a Logitech 920 uh, webcam couldn't find them anywhere. You like Elgato had no gear, none. You couldn't buy anything. You couldn't buy lights, um, hard to get microphones, just hard to get stuff in general. And, you know, so that's because when COVID lockdown and everybody was at home. Everybody already had computers. That's why you can't gra graphic cards, computer parts. You can't get any of that stuff. And uh, what was my point here? My point is um, that it's, it's, it's easier now than what it was. And uh, everybody's streaming now because they bought all the gear when COVID hit. So the, the competition is way harder than it's ever been. Like... Everybody on Twitch is a viewer and a streamer. Like just since I started streaming. So what I, I've been streaming almost two years now. And ever since I've started streaming, I would say there's been at least 20 to 30 of my audience members that also became streamers. I saw a YouTube video saying that he deserved to die. He was a Nazi. He made fun of Jesus Christ, dude. That is awful. That is literally awful. Those people have no souls, I swear to God. Um, yeah, we have some pretty bad stuff here on the internets. Um, yeah, you don't want to dox them because then then you do, you risk getting banned from Twitch itself, right? And I don't want that. So um, took me three months to get my GPU at retail. Yeah, it's almost impossible to get a good GPU these days to find one even available. But like, that's the thing. Everybody decided that Twitch was the next biggest thing. And all of a sudden competition became very fierce for, for these spots. And I've lost a lot of viewers, you know, during that time to other streams, uh, or they became streamers 
And, and like, it's just the way it goes. So my point is, how do you get seen when everybody's doing it? It's very hard. It's very, very hard. I joined their Discord, making fun of Markiplier's knees. <laughs> nice. Wow. Well, got him. To destroy a place from the inside. See, you're doing it right, man. You know how to do it. It's an inside job always, right? Way to library to get a study on and finish class. Yo, that's awesome. How much, wait, how much more of the class you got left? Is Are you just finishing like finals or something or hopefully? Yeah, no worries, Q. Your hatred fuels me at them. <laughs> Jesus, I love it. I love it. Um, it. It's snowing here off and on today too. I just, I'm going to take a break. I, I just need to take like three minutes just to kind of like, yeah. I think we're going to go for like maybe another hour or so. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are. I know this isn't like anything like a banger or anything like that, but like I'm trying. Can I leave you with some Ari? Miss Kip, where did you see him before? I I have definitely seen All right, before. I'll be right back. That's so crazy, bro, because I feel like I feel like you don't follow me. Why is awesome? Why is all your contestants so hostile? Like, I don't understand. I mean, he just can I just chill out like fucking Emmy and just like hang out? Like, why do I have to get attacked? He just presented a question. Well, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. I do not follow you. Oh, I know. Uh, how about this? If your performance does well, out of the kindness of my heart, I'll follow your channel. Oh wow! wow. That's fucking nuts. That's so, that's that's so sweet. Me. Well, we're all excited to hear you. Whenever you're ready, I'm going to mute you on Discord and you go ahead and get started. for how I can get Miz to follow me. Unorthodox strategies, wrong answers only. This will be the verse, this will be the verse. Yeah, yeah, oh no, yeah, I wanna know what you're feeling. These tracks that I make, they so appealing, yeah. Showing all my vulnerabilities, only y'all to show, that's what I'm revealing, yeah. I'ma need Miz Jones, don't know who that is, the way that it goes, yeah, yeah. Feeling so dead, they gon' come and this shit in the LSF thread. Oh, yeah, or kidnap, yeah, yeah, no, it's nagging. That's that feeling that I'm snagging. I'm up in here, I'm snagging. I might win against me and smite. Yeah, Miss Kip, is that something that you like? Hoping that the chat come through and reunite. I could talk about his doors all motherfucking night. I, yeah, I'll stroke his ego, Miss Kip, you so high. Yeah, I just do get lost in them blue eyes that you got. Oh my god, I could <laughs> So for a while, that feeling that I feel is making me go so wild. Will I win this contest? So look, baby, probably no. Only you will win the regular witches to network on a Austin show. I need this kid to follow me back.
Nice. No, it's over. <laughs> oh, wow, that was incredible, Ari. Okay, hopefully everybody enjoyed that. That's a little bit of Ari. Uh, just a little shout out to Ari. Uh, he's just an amazing uh, independent artist. And uh, I think that's what you call him, but he is a streamer. Uh, he's uh, just amazing. He streams at 11 p.m. I think Monday through Friday. I don't know about the weekends. Uh, I know that he's out of New York City. And uh, he's just such a talented individual. So I like to hype him up on the on the stream. I mean, even if it's to a few people that I can expose him to, I think it's totally worth it. All right. Um, hold on. What did I miss? Uh, yeah, no, no, absolutely. Let's see. Day five of gushing over Ari. Until he writes, I, I, until... Until he intros me, I will gush over him every single day that I possibly can. I mean, it does help that he also has hair. Uh, it's something that I, uh, it's, it's a it's a weak point for myself, but that's okay. I mean, we can get better, right? I'm pretty sure we can we can get better. So anyway. Oh man, I like doing these streams a little bit better. I, I I know that it's it's such a smaller audience when I do this, but man, it just makes me feel better inside. I think at least a little bit. I, I we're not gonna tweet today. I'm I'm over the tweet. It's okay. We don't have to tweet every single day, right? I think I think I don't know. I'll get better at the whole Twitter thing eventually. I don't know. It's hard to say. We are more aerodynamic. Yeah, well, I mean, it's just a weak point in some people's eyes. I mean, obviously, we know our benefits, right? Yo, I got four, three new followers on. Uh, oh, all right, all right, hold on. Yo, let me show you. Right, let me show you guys this. All right. Since we've been talking, I got three new followers. Yo, check that out. We're gonna be back up to. Uh, Oh, oh, I need one more follower to get 50.7 again. <laughs> I see the issue. I've never sunburnt my scalp, though. Oh, I actually have. And it's really, really awful. Like now I am so careful to like wear a hat or, or put like uh, protection on my head when I'm outside, like mowing the lawn. Back from AOK, no worries, Q. Um, yeah, I am I am extremely careful um about that. So yeah. Um, all right, that's I just wanted to show that I had a bunch of new followers. That's crazy. That's literally crazy. Anyway, Q, what do you guys got going on today? It's Thursday. Tomorrow we're gonna stream one more time. All right, so tomorrow we're gonna be streaming again. Uh, I'm not streaming tomorrow night though. Legs and them are still oh, followed. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Hold on. Let me see if it updates. How how long does it take? Hold on. 
It hasn't updated yet. Thank you, man. Why are all the messages doubling? I don't know, man. It's weird, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> A house centipede and vomited in pure fear. Jesus, dude. Jesus. That's terrible. Eight days, six hours. Watch you checked. What are you doing with your life, sir? Um, oh. Hey, can I ask you guys a question? If I played Path of Exile on stream outside of my normal times, like, so when the league starts again, I'm thinking about streaming a little bit of the beginning of it or maybe the whole thing. I don't know. Would you guys still stop by and say hello to me? <laughs> Go ahead and show off. <laughs> Yo, Gary used to have over a month of watch time. His his stuff was insane. But I think he's he's moved on a little bit, so I can appreciate him. 17 days and 17 hours. Damn, dude, that is serious. Wow. Almost 10 days heading that way. Uh, you guys have some pretty big watch time, actually. I'm surprised. I miss playing Gang Beast. That's something I wish Plastic Rebel would play. I wish he would play Gang Beast. I really feel like it's so entertaining. Ah, <sighs> One day, I, I want him to play it. I, I think he would do just just fine. Just stream for another 18 hours today? Oh, yeah. Easy game, man. No problem. <laughs> Just 18 more hours? Come on, man. It's so easy. Uh, ooh, no space. No space between the uh, the exclamation mark. Yeah, easy money. Jesus, I couldn't imagine going 18 hours like that. There's no... Yeah, no space. Um, wow. Has... Almost seven hours, dude. Dude, considering... Hold on. You just followed me, too. Well, I mean, I guess you followed me back in July. But, like, you've you've just recently started coming to the stream, I guess, is what I mean. So that's pretty good, dude. All things considered. Because, like, I didn't see you a whole lot during the, the second half. Like, I've only been seeing you, like, the last, like, week or two a, a lot more. Wait, did you change your name at all? Did you lose any watch time? I do love that too, Saucy. There's a lot of people that followed me like a year ago and they come back and they're like, whoa, I, I'm sorry. I haven't been here. Um, I like this. And they, they, you know, maybe it's the new background. Maybe it's the new, like, I've been doing this long enough thing. I just got done with high school. Yeah, man. No worries. No worries at all. You're the same age as my middle child. That child, she's an adult, but you know what I mean? Like, it would be weird to say my adult. Uh, yeah, no, no, that's totally understandable, man. That is literally totally understandable. My my fourth, uh, my youngest son, he's, uh, he's finishing up his junior year in high school right now. And then um, my middle daughter... She's a freshman at college this year. So she she just graduated high school. So you're like right there. That's interesting, man. As the life is so weird. It is. Man, in 20 years from now, you're going to be tripping the hell out, dude. You're going to be like looking back at your life, looking forward to your life. It's it's going to be wild, man. You're in a good time of your life. Enjoy it. It's really a uh, really a lot of fun. Um Thank you, Ellie. Appreciate it. I just got notified that you followed me. Thank you. <laughs> um, catches all the streams. Wait, what is this? Ver only been following since June. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I just met Ver like not that long ago. I'm not sure how we met, though. It had to be through like Goose Goose Duck because June... Like June-ish, I was playing a lot of that. Because of disconnects, it's possible. It's, it, you never know. Like, well, it's no worries. And then I took a little time off in December, too. It was Goose Goose Duck? Yeah, I met a lot of people in Goose Goose Duck. Like, 
that's I think that's a big reason why I really like the game because of the community that surrounds it. Hey, I I need to tell you guys though. If if I get COVID, like I'm going to not be streaming for like 2 weeks or more. All right? I I should just tell you guys. Like I'm not saying I have it. I'm just saying like cuz I've been thinking about what we talked about earlier. And uh, so just understand that I I don't know if I'm going to be able to stream if I have COVID. I have no idea. So I, 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 I guess I should probably say that, right? I'll tell you guys if I have it. Like, I don't care. I'm, like I said, I'm, it's not going to kill me. I'm, I'm so boosted up anyway. The first person that popped up in GG search. Yeah, that was at the time that I was doing very well in Goose Goose Duck. Right, right then and there, I was like at the top of the game. I was having fun, man. I was like, I was feeling it. And then like a bunch of drama unfolded between like a lot of the Goose Goose Duck streamers. And it was putting a strain on the stream. And then people wanted like divided my time. And it was a weird, it was a weird transition, man. I had to kind of like step back. Because a lot of the lady streamers were getting a little bit, um, a little bit weird. Not towards me or anything, but like, I don't know. They started like competing against each other, and then started like throwing fists and shit. And I was like, "Whoa, what the fuck, man!" And I was, I don't know. There was a bunch of stuff going on right there in June and July with like Goose Goose Duck and other drama on Twitch, and um, I just kind of wanted to back away from it. So that's why I I left Goose Goose Duck. Plus. I was losing my viewership big time, so I thought that my audience didn't want to see Goose Goose Duck anymore, so I also reduced it there too. Um, yeah, I just I, my numbers were just sinking really hard, so I was trying to find a different way. But that's cool, man. If that brought us together, I love it. Killer being on the spree, Jesus. That's not good. Uh, whether or not you stream, you'll have my support. Well, I appreciate that, Q. Really, seriously. If you're vaxxed symptoms. Yeah, I, that's why I'm not all that worried about it, you know? That's why, like, I'm telling you right now. Like, me and my family are triple vaxxed, except for those under 18. But they are double vaxxed. So, I'm not, like, I'm not worried. I did my due diligence. I have too many people, like, like worried about me. Like, if you have kids and you're not vaxxed, Damn, and, you know, like I'm just going to put that there because like those those kids, man, they they need you, you know, like you should be doing the right thing. That goes to anybody. That's like, damn. I hope everybody's getting vaxxed. Oof. And every time I think about losing somebody, I think about, you know, my friends that I lost in like Afghanistan, Iraq and so many other places. And I just think like they didn't even have a chance, you know. And you got motherfuckers here that are turning down a vaccine because of some stupid ideology. Like, wow, wow, what a hill to die on. I think that's what bothers me the most. Like, all the friends I did lose in those wars, you know? And, and like, just to see stupid Americans basically say, no, no, I don't want to be protected. You're out, you're out of your mind. Out of your mind. Uh, I wish I could clone myself. Yeah, exactly. I would too. Yeah, also seek professional help, as Saucy said, right? Um, yeah, sorry. I, I hate getting on the soapbox. I really do. But this is what happens when you're a dad, man. God, I miss, I miss Bob Saget too. Can I also just say that one more time? I've been thinking about him. He had great hair. I, I, I admire him for it. You know? I mean, damn. Too young. We still don't even know why. We do know that um, uh, Betty White was from um, a stroke earlier. Six days earlier, she had a stroke. They will die on it. Yeah, absolutely. But that's the thing. Like, I don't want anybody to die. I, like, I don't want to lose anybody. Like, the thought that these people don't want to be a part of this kind of hurts my feelings, too. I don't know. Hey, um, can I ask Ellie another question? Didn't you say that your dad was a retired Air Force if, if that is the case, when he retired, um, did he continue down like the military-ish path or did he become a dirty hippie? I feel like there's usually no in-between. 
Usually a retired military guy will go down one path or the other. Uh, just curious. Her Berlinator wants to learn how to climb and gang beast. Dude, he always wants to learn how to climb and gang beast. Oh my God. Yeah. Betty White. Just an absolute beast out there in the comedian world. For anybody that's making fun of her, shame on them. Wait, what is this one? Hold on. Not my unjacked. I wish I clipped him liking my artwork. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'll put I'll put all these streams into the archives. I always do that anyway. Steffi Duck might not uh might be getting the game soon. Oh, I watched her stream for a few minutes. She was uh playing The Sims last night. I stopped by just to uh you know, see what she had up. She was going on. Uh, he runs a region of local Budweiser. Just, oh, wow. That's pretty cool. He probably does very well for himself, actually. That's nice. Dude, I wish I could, like, run a region of, like, a cannabis, like, distributor. Like, that's that's what I want. Like, let me move out to, like, Seattle or, like, Oregon, California, and I'll I will be like the regional manager of any kind of like cannabis distribution. Like just put me into the chain and I'm I'm very good at doing what I do. Um I don't ask a whole lot. I do ask for a hundred thousand dollars a year at the minimum though. Um but beyond that, like I don't think of anything else. Like I would never go back to work at this point if I if it was for anything less than a hundred thousand. Um, might be getting the game soon. I, I'll literally buy it for her if she wants. It's $9 on sale. I would literally, if she wanted to play it, I will buy it for her. If there was a version of The Sims called The Sims, let your imagination run. Oh, yeah. No, no. Trust me. With all your favorite streamers involved, I'm sure. You just pick which one you want to put in the house and then simp away. <laughs> oh, nothing but points to burn. Yo, Verse, showing him what's up. Here's 10,000. Boom. Easy game. It is talent manufacture something for cannabis. Oh, really? Like, that's what I want to do. I want to open up. Like, if if I ever make it really big on, on like, Twitch, I'm literally going to build, a, a like, a farm for cannabis. I'm I'm going to go into the cannabis industry like that. Yeah, but I, you know, it's it's one sub at a time. You know, every sub I get is just a building block towards that that uh, that grow house. You know, but I, I honestly, I don't actually want to grow it. I mean, I, I mean, I would, right? But like, what I want to do is the genetics part of it. Like, that's the part that interests me. I'd love to like go out to like Oregon, get like a huge farm but mostly just to develop genetics and breeding and stuff like that. Like that to me is the interesting part, like growing. Anybody can do that. <clears throat> anybody can do the growing part. <clears throat> I mean, obviously there's money in that, but like, <clears throat> yeah, assistant regional manager or assistant to the regional manager. Uh, either would, would be fine with me. <laughs> Tools or something like that. I like that. Nothing but points to burn. Look at you guys burning through these. Oh my goodness, these points don't mean nothing. Mm, 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 mm. No way, no how. Don't flex on the little guy. No. Can cannabis. Actually, they actually do can cannabis. I don't have the video up right now. I literally was watching um, a YouTube video. I don't know if it was can of cribs or something else. And... The guy, no shit, bought like an eighth and it came into like a can with one of those like peel back lids. They literally canned like three small buds. Blue gang in here. I like that. <laughs> I can't believe they canned it. Like I was speechless. I was like, why? I mean, what? <laughs> You're super lagging. No worries, man. It's okay, dude. Yeah, feel free. Um, so anyway, I just thought that was interesting. But they literally do can cannabis. 
I know it's it's crazy for alliteration. It's nuts, man. It's absolutely nuts. Um, <laughs> wow, for for not knowing what I was going to stream today, I think we ended up doing all right. We ended up doing just fine. I uh, is everybody having a good time? Is the uh, temperature of the water? Is it okay? Is everybody safe in there? Weird shape on your shirt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Absolutely, my friend. Hold on. Oh, he commented on my stuff. Okay, never mind. Sorry. I thought there was something going on here. I'm going through my email real quick. I'm just trying to see if there's anything I got to address. All right. The fact that crops. No, no, no. I love this shirt. This is I love wearing this shirt on stream for that exact reason. And this is this is the uh, the graphic version of being uh, clipped out of context. You know, like it's just you just don't know. Maybe like he could be wearing that. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, how bold would I have to be? <laughs> how bold would i have to be oh man absolutely insane so um all right what did, anybody got anything else this doesn't have to be like a long ass stream by the way this it doesn't have to be we can do a short stream today but i don't know like um I'm trying to go through like all the stuff. I want to see if I covered everything that I want to cover for the stream. Um, oh, we did pretty well. We're almost to 5,000 uh, or 40, uh, 4,500, but on our way to 5,000. Sorry. I had two thoughts at the same time and they were, they were fighting to get out. Um, we can do a little bit of TikTok real quick. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Why don't we go catch up on TikTok together? We, we can run out the clock a few minutes over here, right? Uh, what's the duck doing over here? Didn't he just have uh, I think he just had COVID too. This is his produce section. What's wrong with this guy? I'd be like, I'd have to walk up to him. Be like, sir, sir, what are you filming in here? And why do you look so crazy? <laughs> That I could catch COVID before I go back to college if I'm not careful. Head empty, th high thoughts. Um, oh, oh, trust me, I'm super baked right now. Um, yeah, be careful out there. Um, school's about to start. All right, let's see what Linja's over here doing. How the, oh, if you give me my swamp, hold on, I gotta start over. That's a DMCA for sure. I'm fairly sure I'm going to get DMCA'd for that one. Uh, so be it, I guess, right? Um, I don't know why you people be tagging me in this video, but anyways, bro. Look at that, not even an ounce of seasoning. This man is just rubbing, ooh, he think with the beef. Why is he, so he using his some knife seasoning? like that? Why is he cutting towards himself? Hey, just- Pomegranate. Hey, just for a reference, don't cut towards yourself ever. Like, even if you think you're going like really like, like, no, the answer is no. You always cut away from yourself. And so please don't be a monster. Okay. Yeah. Just wear a mask for sure. Wearing a mask will help you with like almost all of it. Linja is God. I mean, she's good, but she's using a really like copyright song, you know, Worship her? I mean, I would if she was closer, but I, it's hard to worship through TikTok. I mean, the way I worship. <laughs> I mean, listen, I don't know how you worship, but the way I worship is way different. Um, yeah, so let's let's see what's going on here. Anyways, why do people do what they do in cream? Oh, that's nice. Anyways. I'm not here to judge. Oh, that dog just living his first life. He's so cute. 
No, I know he on here making the beef throw it back like that. Oh my goodness. I don't I'm scared to, I don't know what's coming next. I'm I'm scared. Okay. I wasn't ready for that. Lord, now the beef look like me while I'm waiting for my mom to get the towel. Ah! <laughs> I don't know why you this guy be right here. This video, what in the anyway, world? Dude, you see him stuff that thing? Jesus, dude. That, that guy, it's not his first go around. You know what I mean? Lynch is the only person I'm I'm an openly simper. All right, man. I mean, listen, I, I'm not here to criticize you. You do you do whatever you need to do, all right? She's worthy of it, though. That was wild. Um, <laughs> wow, we know how we feel about this one, right? So let's go. That's the flag when 10 euros. Are you in? Yes, I'm in. All right, that's the first one. Philippines? That's correct. China, right? That is correct as well. That's 20 euros. Bit tougher. Mauritania? Mauritania? Mauritania, but I'll let it pass. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Holy shit, okay. Didn't expect that one. Uh, Kuwait? Ghana? Are you in Discord call with someone? No, no, genuinely, genuinely. No, I swear, I swear. I swear. Actually, I don't That's know right, that. That's yeah. right, yeah. And the last one. Oh, what, wait, what did he say? Oh, fuck. It's Somalia. Oh. Yeah, but what, that's what was that flag? Call with someone? No, no, genuinely, genuinely. No, I swear, I swear, I swear. That, that's right, yeah. And the last one. Oh, fuck. No, I genuinely don't know this one. I actually it's don't Somalia. know. Oh. Somalia. Yeah, I did but not that's know 40 that. euros. He fingered that's the meat. Yeah, he did. He got right in there. Oh, yes, I, I, I couldn't hear. One. Philippines? That's correct. China, right? That is correct as well. That's 20 euros. Bit tougher. Mauritania? Mauritania? Mauritania, but I'll let it pass. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Holy shit, okay. Didn't expect that one. Kuwait? Are you in a Discord call with someone? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, Kuwait! Yeah, I had that That's wrong. Right, Sorry. Yeah. And the last one. I don't know why I was thinking oh, that. Damn, Jesus, so Kuwait. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy, That's dude. Euros. Guess I I like that one. I, I like that dude. I think he's a quality dude too. Dog versus cat. Cat versus All right, let's go. Who will win and who will lose? Always up for a jog. Dog loves to get a pat. Dog ignores me all day and then fights his friends outside my bedroom window. Cat helps me get a girlfriend. Dog boil until the end. Dog waits for you to die so I can sit on your chest and eat your face. It's a cat. Dog versus cat. Dog. Dog. I got you a dead bird. Oh, thanks. So much. Oh, it tastes your face. What'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> that guy is weird, man. I like him though. He's he's a quality dude too. Go go go. Uh, hey, I think guys, we're caught uh, up. Speed is spectacular. Hold on, hold what on. What is this? Is... People talk to him. Why are we doing? Why are people acting like they didn't notice? So that's what we're doing. So. Oh, she got a scalp like Voldemort. Ooh, oh my we god. To kneecap. Look <laughs> like a kneecap? Is that what you said? What in the world? <laughs> For you, the third one. You had to go wait. <laughs> oh, I can appreciate that. Thank you, Q. Thank you, ma'am. You know. Oh, man. I, um... I love when it when it gets a little bit funny in here. <laughs> I actually really like that dude. He's he's like very casual, but he's just he's got good vibes, man. Like he he would, seems like a decent guy to hang out with. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what time is it? It's almost twelve. I did say in the description of the stream that I was only going to do it for a little bit. Yeah, scalp like Voldemort. That's <laughs> so good, dude. That is such a, a like an underhanded comment, dude. <laughs> oh man. Anybody got any uh, TikToks you want to share while we're here? I mean, we'll look them up. I don't mind. This is funny, man. Some of these, some of these are really good. Yeah. Um. So, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Nobody signed up for uh, any of the um, any of the events. So I, I think the reality is we're gonna have to ride off of last week's videos. So I think what I'm gonna do over the weekend 
I guess it depends how I feel, right? Uh, that can make someone cry. Yeah, no, that would make somebody cry. If somebody told me I had a scalp like Valdemort, like I would literally cry. I would. I would just cry. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to have to download those videos and cut the segments and see if I can make something out of it for uh, for the YouTube channel and for, for TikTok. And then I will hire somebody on Fiverr to do the thumbnails. I don't have much hope for the guy that I hired to do the five TikToks for me. He told me they were going to be done like two days ago. And then he went on, on radio silence. Um, so I'm, I'm, I don't think he has the talent to be my editor. Um, so I'm going to have to go back out and start looking for editors again. <laughs> this sucks because this guy came to me. He was like, Hey, uh, are you looking for an editor? I was like, actually, yeah. And he, he showed me the link of his Fiverr. And, uh, so I said, well, I mean, what can I lose? $25. Right. What's twenty five dollars, like five gifted subs. And, and so, I don't know, there's that I feel like this was a chill week. It was kind of a chill week. And I, I like that a little bit, to be honest. I guess my biggest fear is putting out like boring content. Like, I don't want to do boring content. I, I want content that matters. But this week was a little bit chill. I apologize. I, I just haven't really been feeling good this week. It is, it is possible that I've had COVID, but asymptomatic just with like body aches. But I don't know. I literally don't know. You would cry. Start typing. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, so I, I may end up cutting those videos up and trying to put like our hangman session up, putting our spelling bee session up. Like I want people to see what our, our stream is capable of. And I think maybe I just don't have enough people. Are you busy? No. Do you want to do your printer thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it prints notes. <laughs> and it prints a picture. This is a picture. Oh, is it a thermal printer? Yeah. Oh, because there's no ink. So. Pictures. Yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah, no, I know exactly what that is. Yeah, that is very cool. <laughs> My daughter got like a little printer. It's a thermal printer with paper and she can just print stuff on there. Text, pictures, whatever. You're, you are so not boring. We have such crazy ass combos. Well, I don't know. Like the last time I went and I did stuff like this where I just did just chatting, I literally started getting like private messages and DMs about how like they hope that I'll play balloons again or, or whatever. And it's just like, I, I, my audience is fairly split because I actually have a good segment of my audience that has found me through my podcasting. And then I have another set of my audience that found me during like balloons or, uh, even the older heads, the path of exile guys, uh, or the among us peeps or the goose goose duck peeps. Uh, there's just so many, right? And so everybody has like a little dog in the fight. And so that's why I'm always nervous about the type of content I'm doing because I try to make everybody happy, but then like you, you notice like the numbers go up and then down and up and down throughout the stream. Right. Some people's come in and they're like, Ooh, that's not what I want. Not today. Not like this. And, uh, but I don't know. So I just never know if I'm being boring or not. Hardly bickering. You're pulling the child. <laughs> Oh, you guys. So anyway, I, uh, I'm going to spend like, even if I have COVID, like I'm going to get so fucking baked, like all 10 days, as much energy as I can, I can muster to chew up edibles and stuff like that. I don't want, I don't, I do not want to remember having COVID as much as I can. Um, I'm just going to go in the jacuzzi as much as I can and, uh, eat edibles like crazy. Yo, what's up ultra? Good to see you, dude. Not gonna lie. I found Jack through among us stayed for the just chatting and the among us. I appreciate that. I just, I'm so bummed out about among us, man. They really screwed that game up. I, the thing about among us, is like I'm actually angry at inner sloth 
because of how they mishandled um, every update since March 31st. Like it was like I literally had 60, 70, 80 concurrent viewers watching me play Among Us. I got up to 110 on that on that day on March 31st. I got up to 105 or 110 uh, viewers right as the big update dropped. And because it was mishandled so much, my stream has never recovered from that. Never. I can't even play Among Us anymore because it's so bad. I don't know. It's such a bummer, man. I used to get 50 or 60 new followers per day when I played Among Us. Now I'm lucky to get one or two for an entire stream. The balloons is cool too, though. No, I really like balloons. It's like, it's pretty casual. I do enjoy it. You know, I mean, it's just one of those things. I just, I really did like Among Us though. I just, I hate what the hackers have done. I hate inner sloth the mismanagement of like the accounts and the way that they broke it i mean even even matt matthew said the other day he can't play among us because of the region locks so i don't know what they're doing but this is horrible man i don't know i'm bummed out that's why i moved to goose goose duck i just couldn't take it anymore and then goose goose duck under delivered I mean, they over delivered the game. I mean, like just me, I under delivered on Goose Goose Duck. Not, not that me. Like I, I wasn't able to sustain an audience. I just didn't have what it took for that particular thing. But yeah, I mean, my audiences are all split. So I have a very small segment that absolutely love my podcast. Okay. One last subject. And I would like feedback from everybody that's listening. If you want to give it to me. All right. Um, I need to figure out how to get my just chatting numbers up and just turning on my, I mean, I already know I need to make videos. So let's, I, outside of, of the YouTube and the TikTok, I want to think outside of that box. Um, and, and I will, I'm going to uh, give us some time. It's not worried, but there are certain things that I could potentially do that, that could help. All right. So I want to ask, I want to ask, um, I have, I have a Facebook group for podcasts. It's got 3,500 people in it. Podcasters. All right. 3,500 podcasters. And, um, I would like to ask to be on their podcast to kind of help get me some exposure. So there's, there's a few things actually. So, on my personal Twitter account last night, I realized I had 10,000 plus followers on Twitter. So my Unjacked account has like less than 100. My Ted's account has, um, has was it 50, almost 51,000 followers? And then, um, <laughs> what's up, Adriango? Good to see you, man. Um, who doesn't love ASCII art, right? Um, so anyway, I obviously I have Twitter to make up, right? I have, I have to get my Twitter game up, but I'm also thinking about doing like guest spots on regular podcasts. And I got to figure out if, if I should like try to get on like streamer podcast. Um, I got to figure out like either, either I have to find people that do just chatting like other content creators and work my way into their groups because I'm trying to do just chatting and everybody that's in my community is trying to do gaming like plastic rebel legs, um, ver, you know, all these people they're in the gaming one, but I'm kind of, I float in between like sometimes I like gaming and sometimes I like just chatting. So now I have to go out and find like a just chatting crowd and I have no idea how to do that. Tall, stupid as fuck. <laughs> oh my god! You know, I don't think that's Braille, isn't that? I think they, that's uh, ASCII art. But anyway, um, so I need to find like a crew that does just chatting. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like people that just do like podcasts, like like reasonable. Like I, but I need to find people that have like a little bit of a following already. People that have also been in the trench like me building a community. So that's something I got to, I got to think about over the next maybe week or two. Um, 
Do you guys watch any like streamers around my size that do just chatting as well? Or do you guys just watch like gaming streams or, um, cause if there's anybody that you could recommend to me that might be like, uh, my type of vibe, uh, around my size, you know, 15, 20, maybe 30 concurrent viewers. Uh, you watch some smaller ones. If, if you have any that you could recommend to me that have the same similar vibe to me, um, I would really appreciate it. This is my version of points to burn. <laughs> hey, I'll count it, Q. All right, count it. He's got points to burn, baby. Let's go. Um, it's really hard for me to go through all of the streamers and, and try to find somebody similar to me. And I, when I already know that you guys are out probably watching other just chatters, you know. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to be able to, like, slide into, like, you know, Pokemane's just chatting uh, stream or anything like that. Oh, my God. He hit him with another nothing but points to burn. This guy is a madman. Absolute madman. So, um, yeah, it's it's one of those things. I'm trying to find other content creators that are similar to me that do not game. I want to find non-gaming. Yeah. Actually, maybe can I tweet that? I could tweet that, right? Maybe um, I count one nothing but points. Well, yeah, that's true, right? Because we can't count the ones from before. That'd be weird. No, you. <laughs> uh, all the people I've watched have moved to fully gaming. That's fair. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, like I said, I bounce between, but it would be nice to uh, to find some. Um, uh, I just, it's so hard to get exposed to, um, to all of that. So I don't know. Yo, I'll follow him back. There we go. Um, that's, that's my sixth of the stream. Uh, Hey, it's Caleb. He likes to start stream usually an hour, uh, talking and then move on it if they get bored. Okay. I will uh, I will check this guy out. Let me uh, put it in a notepad. And I appreciate it because, like, honestly, when when I look, wait, what did I not copy? Hold on, copy, paste. What? Wait. Okay, I'll just type it out. Hey, uh, it's Caleb. Okay, I'll check him out because when I look at like my um, my Twitch following. Like literally nobody on the left hand side is doing just chatting. And honestly, I kind of miss rating people. But like I can't rate anybody because they're not doing like, you know what I mean? Like they're not doing what I'm doing. I like. So I want to find like a crowd that I can fit into. Right. Like kind of what I did with gaming. I have a couple crowds that I fit into, but like when I'm in uh, the mix, it's fun. But now I need a just chatting crowd. So listen, if you guys know any just chatters that might have my similar vibe, uh, please tell me. Please put it in the chat. Yo, Freshy Boy, what's up, dude? Good to see you. If the rich person keeps flexing, they'll eventually go poor. Oh, using it against him. I like that, sir. That is the art of war right there. Um... <sighs> What's this? Yo, Slaley Kirby. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, great start right there. I, I have one of those. Actually, some of these people also have some of these too. Very nice. Um, all right. Hold on. What's that? I'm going to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and grab a drink real quick. So um, um, wait, wait. Can I go just chatting? Hold on. Do they have this for, let me look real quick. Just chatting. Uh, streamers on uh, Twitch. Let's just go uh, on Twitch TV. Or let's see. No, 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 no. Uh, this, this looks stupid already. Okay, hold on. 
let's let's take this hashtag out uh, on Twitch because it can be is searched. All right. Um, yeah. Good to have everybody here. Welcome into the stream. Nice to have you guys here. Come on in. Relax. Uh, Dorian just showed up. Look, look, looks like he's done from his nap upstairs. All right. No big deal. Hi, dude. Good to see you. Come here. Oh, you're so cute. Come here. Oh, there you go. I got to get a kitty cam so you guys can see him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like this. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me see. I'm going to reply to your tweet with something sussy. I like that. No bitches. I mean, no, we're we're not bitches around here. We are uh we are we are anti, right? We are the opposite. We are like we're awesome, man. We are not bitches. Well, I mean, there might be like one or two of them, but like I don't know them. Yo, hold on, hold on. You can't type. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. hold on, hold on, Mr. Aggressive. Mr. Aggressive, hold on. Hold on. Let me can I tweet this real quick, sir? He's trying to step all over my keep. Oh my god, he's upside down. He's literally upside down. He came to play. I'm sorry, guys. I can't show you him right here. Um, all right. So I need to find similar vibe. Just chatting streamers on Twitch. Um, uh, preferably. Oh, my God. I don't know how to spell this. Uh, preferably. I'll, I'll do the spelling correction in a minute. All right. So hold on one second. Let Dorian tweet. Oh, my God. No. Uh, preferably um, around my uh channel wait does it matter no because i don't want well does it matter i don't know if it really matters if it has my, my similar vibe we're good i see you i see you oh my god he oh my god oh my god he wants to scratch me you can't bite me sir 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 just tweet what about time zones uh, i don't care about time zones because if, if they were having, like, a fun event, I will... Oh, my God. You are touching my keyboard again. Um, What? I don't even know what that is. All right, all right, all right, all right. Dude, stop touching my keyboard. I'm going to have to move over here just so he doesn't touch it. All right. Um, I need to find... Okay, I need to find similar vibe. Just chatting streamers on Twitch. Do you have any channel recommendations for me to check out uh now we'll do hashtag twitch streamers um hashtag um hashtag uh community no, no that's dumb right um is there another twitch hashtag maybe i can hop on Highlights, streamer, Twitch TV, Twitch affiliate, Twitch streamers. Uh, not really. All right. Let's just do, uh, we'll just leave it at that. All right. Uh, well, that's fine. Okay. There we go. Like that. Um, I need to find similar vibe, just chatting streamers on Twitch. Do you have any channel recommendations for me to check out? Uh, I need to, I need to find similar vibe. On Twitch, uh, I want to build my community. Do you have any channel recommendations you need to check out? All right, that's good enough. I think that's good, right? That should be good. All right, sorry about that. All right, we got it out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Holy cow. Could you even imagine I couldn't get that going? Holy all right, let's switch over here, and uh, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll do our thing, right? How about that? All right. I can't believe that. Who's that Pokemon? Wait, what? What? Who? I don't do Pokemon. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Look at you guys in here getting each other. I like that. <laughs> Gulpin. <laughs> Damn, just like that. So, um, all right. So we got Dorian right here. He, you guys can't see him because the camera's just over him, but he is, he is here. Uh, we got the tweet out, so we'll see what we can do. All right, what we can do is we'll try to build our community, 
in in the just chatting like we did for gaming because if i can go on somebody else's stream they can come onto my stream we build content together we have podcasts together there are things that we can do to help uh to help us grow in uh, a certain way right the reason why i'm doing this is i think it's the better way to grow on twitch versus just playing a game because if you're just playing a game you're not unique um you know and that's that's the biggest thing is you're just not unique if you do it that way so i don't know all right um wait what Hold on, where am I? Oh, I got another follower. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the... Uh, <laughs> there we go. There you go. I just liked it. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yo, I've had 91 followers now. Look at me. Oh, I know it's you. Oh, I know. Would you like me to DM Caleb about it? No, 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 no. I, I, I'll let me Let me watch him. I'm literally... Go to watch his channel and see if I can connect with him on my own. I appreciate that though. But you you are already helping by giving me his name. So I don't know. I'm just looking for opportunities of like me being able to fit into like a group doing, you know, specialized content. That's that's what I'd like to do. You know, I'd love to get into a situation where eventually we can do like some IRL streams. Um that we can do certain things. Hey, who's here? Oh, UPS is here. It's Braxton, you fury. Wait, you furry? Uh, I can't do furries. No furries. No furries. Um, he's heavily community based. All right, that's exciting to hear. I wait. Well, how how big is he? You know, that's the other thing. Hold on, let me look him up. Let me look him up. Uh, let's see. Back to Twitch, and then if I type in, hold on. Um. Shit, what was his name? Hold on one second. I'm going to look this up real quick. Uh, hey, it's Caleb. So, hey, uh, it's Caleb. Because there's certain things like, okay, so he has 400. He has 400 followers. Yeah, he's within my scope. Like I can't go after somebody that has like 50,000 followers. Like they're too far out of my league. Like I know some people don't care about that, but they do. They, they, they do. When they bring more value to the thing than, than I do, it's not, it's not good. So, um, it's called furry, 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 but what's his head? I don't see it. What? I have no idea, sir. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I can't. I'm not into the whole furry scene, though, unfortunately. I wish. I wish I could wrap my head around it, but I just can't. I'm just not. I'm, I think I'm too much of a boomer. Um, is he okay? No, you know the answer to that. No, the answer is no. I can't send the link. Um, no, you wouldn't be able to. Um, the bot will delete it. But, yeah, so I'm going to be on the hunt for that. I'm looking up people um, hoping that... I can connect with a small group of people. Um, it's so hard to, to find it, though. That's the only thing. So I'll have to wait and see how that goes. Uh, the only thing furry that I like is dogs. I like cats. I, I've only had a couple pets in my life, and the cats, they, they're just the best. I love the cats. I can't help it. Like, they do their own thing, but they have a great personality, too. So they're just they're, they're a lot of fun. I don't know. I can't explain it. I have two cats. I have Dorian, which is right here on the on the desk, and then I have Boss, and he's in the other room. He's he's almost ready to come out and hang out with us. So close, but not quite. Imagine cats that are extremely playful. Oh, trust me, I I can imagine that all day. He's doing some fitness, yeah. Um, Dorian is very playful. He will get going and run around the house like a mad cat. And then boss and him, they've been talking a lot. Oh, you want me to get your belly? I'll get your belly. Uh, oh, oh no, 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 no belly, no belly. 
No belly. Oh, 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 I'll get the belly over here. And I'll get it from over here. Is, do you want that? You'll ban yourself now. <laughs> yeah, some dogs are reclusive, but I don't know any. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys want to see Dorian? I'll show him to you. Hold on. Okay, there you go. This is this is now a Dorian stream. So yeah, he sees himself on the on the screen and he's like, What in the hell is this? You have one tortoise, two tortoise. Oh my god, that's quite a that's an interesting uh assortment of animals actually. What made you do the tortoise thing? Feels mutual. <laughs> the belly is a trap. He's it always is. It's always a trap. He knows he's on cam. Yeah, he's well aware. He's he's been around this uh, broadcasting industry for a little while. He's familiar. <laughs> but this is my kitty cat. Oh man, he's such a sweet boy too. Such a sweet boy. Ow, oh, ow, oh, don't bite me. Don't bite me. I'm so sorry. Tortoises are my wife. All her decisions. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You know, we all know women. Women make some pretty crazy decisions that I don't think I can. Like my wife, she she's she makes interesting decisions, especially when they're pregnant, like having pickles and mashed potatoes and all these weird combinations of ice cream and like ham. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so weird. I want to have a pet dog. Um, dogs are just such a commitment, man. They're just so full of energy and everything. Uh, yeah, Dorian's a little bit shy. But that's all right. <laughs> He's bucky. Cats, cats are the way to go, right? Cats are the way to go. He's such a, a like a lovable kitty cat too. He snuggled underneath the blankets with me this morning. Like I, I gave him like a little spot and everything uh, in the bed, and like he ran to it and he got underneath the blankets and he laid like a human being. It was so funny. All right, let's let's get it back on me. All right, I think that's enough. That's enough for right, attention that you guys are giving him, all right? Not no no more attention. I I need to be back into the limelight. Oh my god, he's so good. <laughs> Get off of me. Look, now he's up he's upset because he's not on camera anymore. Oh my god, this guy's ridiculous. He's always trying to steal my limelight. <sighs> all right, you guys have been getting way more Dorian lately. The oh, I know. I love you too. He is so, so sweet. No, you can't drink my tea, dude. Not my tea. Yeah, he is the content. Ow! Why would you bite me? Why? The viewers will be booming? Yeah, they'll only be here for Dorian. And then, what about me? What am I? Oh, he's so cute. He just rolled over on his back. Biting for content? Jesus. What is this? Am I going to be solving fetish fetish content for people out there? Cat biting fetish fetish havers? Good boy. He's such a good boy. He knows he's playing. I have tasted the flesh of the living. Oh, Jesus. Please stay stay at your house, okay? Don't Please don't show up to, like, TwitchCon or anything. Jesus. A ASMR, put the mic next to him. Uh, let me see if I can. Don't bite it. My God. You're a freaking animal, dude. Literally. Oh, let your guard down. No, you leave my cat alone. Yeah, he rubbed against it and then he bit it. What is he doing? What is he doing? All right, I got it. Thank you, Freshy Boy. I appreciate that. He gave uh, he gave me the link of uh, J forty five Saul. Thank you. I will uh, I will definitely check this person out um, right now. Um, this one has three point five k followers. Geogaster just chatting, just chatting. Thank you. 
I appreciate you. I will, uh... He's got 76 concurrent viewers. He could be out of my league. He could actually be out of my league. Even though he has less followers, he has more of an active community. I may not... Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Uh, thank you. Yo, what's up? Zalof is here. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Cat, uh, cat girl biting fetish, maybe? Yeah, maybe. He's training? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Oh, my God. For anybody that's, that's not I'm talking about. I'm super happy right now because I'm not lagging me on the stream. Well, I'm glad that, too. Yeah, he's muted. Well, I'm not muted. Oh, yeah, this guy's muted. So this is what he was telling me about. Um, oh, he ha he's having a birthday stream. So that's probably why he's having an uptick right now. Um, where's he from? Uh, if you want random content. Uh, oh, UK. Okay. I mean, I'll still check him out. Yeah, I'll still check him out. You finally got a PC? Dude, congrats. That's freaking awesome, dude. Instead of 50 seconds at a time. Well, sometimes I'm a slow reader, Q, so, you know, sometimes it takes me a minute to see it. Uh, I just got rated, wait, an hour or 50. Okay, so that, that makes sense. I'll, I'll check him out. I mean, literally, I will check him out. It looks like he's 24 years old, so, again, there's a few factors here. I'm a lot older than him. I mean, he is around my size. He is doing just chatting, uh, but it looks like he does a lot of gaming too. So maybe, maybe I, I'm going to, I'm going to check him out. I'm going to check him out. And I appreciate that very much. Um, cat girls won't like the fact that they have to clean up human sized poops in a litter box. Agreed. Um, no, what am I trying to say about the UK? What I was trying to say about the UK was, uh, it'd be very difficult for me to go and hang out with him in IRL and shoot content on a regular basis with them. So I've also needed to find people that are around my area, maybe around Boston. Uh, that would be pretty cool too. Don't make me send Dorian. He's over here stretching. He's trying to get on my lap right now. Um, also, I got 181 subs. Dude, that is freaking badass. Dude, you're doing it, man. You're freaking doing it. Big, big ups to you, man. I hope you keep crushing it too. Less than your cat girl piss. I'm not. I'm, I'm not big into it. Um, okay. Okay. He's back on his belly trying to bite me again. He keeps coming over here, flipping upside down, showing me his belly. I start rubbing his belly, and then he bites me. I don't understand. What do you want? You're sending mixed messages. Um, he's in the UK because I'm Welsh. He's a simp for me. God, you get everybody, dude. All the boys come to the yard for you. Oh, man. He wants to play fight. Yeah, he does. Same with cat girl bath water. Well, I mean, some of those are good, right? I mean, don't knock it unless you've drank their bath water, you know? I think that's what they say. I think so. Uh, so anyway, I, I don't know. Like, I'm going to look at that tweet. I'll see what people put up there. I appreciate it. If there's anybody else you want to share with me, please do. I'll be looking at that tweet, you know, several times a day. Uh, yeah, bath water straight from the garden to Eden. <laughs> yeah, right there. Boom. Who wants that? I'll sell $50 per milliliter. See who wants in on now. Sell little jars that you can wear around your, your necklace, you know? <laughs> sell them in charm form. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so anyway, um... What I'm thinking is we'll stream a little bit tomorrow. Um, Dorian's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That is pretty good. <laughs> Get the fuck away. I'll bite your head off. That's what I'm afraid of, dude. I'm afraid that he's going to come after me and, like, take an, take an arm. This dude, his, his teeth are kind of sharp. He could be a little uh, furry shark, you know? I sold bath water for a couple hundo pounds. Dude, can I get in on that? 
I'll send you a gallon. You can, uh, you know, distribute it the way you want. <laughs> so you bought FNAF and uh, you're too scared to play it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Solid business idea. Yeah, we got to get it out to the peeps. We have to do it. How do you even find a bath water market? Very carefully. First, you got to figure out, well, how many people do you have in your market itself, right? For me, it'd be about three. I'd say there's probably three weirdos out there that would actually buy my bath water. But they probably wouldn't pay more than like $5 for, for like a gallon. That would be my guess. They would want it at fair market value. <laughs> if, only, if only my OnlyFans would take off, right? Don't want the police investigating? No, you never do. You never do. Because as soon as they start investigating, your life is on the line. At least here. Uh, I wonder if they go up in price with age. Uh, probably goes down. I would say I'd say they're probably pretty mutually inclusive. Um, yeah, black market. You could go on to uh, what Silk Road three. How many Silk Silk Roads do they have now? Uh, yo, what's up, Ricky Reach? What's going on, man? Thanks for coming on in. Uh, it's definitely not a scary game, those guys. See, I don't know. I've never played FNAF, so I don't really have any ways. If only my only tubs would take off. <laughs> dude, that'd be great, dude. Only tubs. It's only only hot tubs. That's it. That's crazy, man. How are you doing, Ricky? I hope you're well. Or is it Rick I reach? It could be that, too. But I'm going to go with Ricky. Anyway, good to see you, dude. Hope you're well. Come on in. Uh, get to know the boys and the ladies. The ladies? <laughs> dude, I need to find some just chatting streamers that are out of Boston. Boston or New Hampshire. Like somebody that I can really like screw around with a little bit, you know? It's not that the animatronics scare me. Uh, see, I, I've seen the game like once or twice. I just have no idea. But good luck. Yeah, I agree with Q. Good luck to you, man. I'm good. Dude, I'm good too, man. Seriously, I'm having a great day. We've just been uh, chilling out a little bit, just doing some casual shit. So, yeah, nice to have you here, dude. Very nice. Um, need a secret for money? Yeah, I do. I need a secret for money. How, do, how can I get rich quick? Can you tell me? Ricky Reach. I like it. Okay, I, I want to make sure. I always, like, that's one of my biggest fears as a streamer is, like, disrespecting somebody, like, really tearing their name up. So that's one thing I, I've always tried to pride myself on. Uh, people actually live in New Hampshire. <laughs> I mean, not on purpose. I don't, th I don't think they do. Like, I only came here because, like, my brother lived here. Other than that, like, I was going to go to Washington, Colorado, New Mexico, Florida. Did I say Colorado? Yeah, I think I did. But, like, those were my retirement states. And then, like, one day I woke up and I was like, yo, what about New Hampshire? So I called my brother up and we started talking. Hey, Ricky, thank you very much for the uh, follow. Appreciate that. More like Rick Astley. I like him, too. Rick Roll or Stick Bug? Oh, my God. <sighs> Probably Rick Roll. Stick Bugs are not good. Well, it depends on, on how you mean the stick bug, right? Do you mean it in the virtual sense or do you mean it like the actual bug? Yeah. So, yeah, welcome welcome into the community, man. Nice to have you. Uh, we have a pretty good group of peeps here. Stick bug and dance dance? Oh, yeah, I'll take the Rick roll. Uh, let's see. If you live near a Goodwill, take a pic of anything from there and sell it on eBay for more money than somebody wants. That is a good way to do it. But that's kind of like low level making money. You could do that though, but you run the risk of it being bought out from underneath you and you have to finding a replacement for it. For anybody that doesn't know, eBay is, is kind of, uh, uh, it's a tough market, all right? Not guy buy, oh, sorry. I know what you mean, don't worry. I know exactly what you mean. Dude, he messed up my mic. I gotta raise it up, hold on one second. Oh, he's back at it. Put your tail down, dude, so I can look at the monitor. <laughs> he's so aggressive. Yeah, I do have a good great uh, group of peeps. And we have some outliers, obviously. <laughs> I actually do sell a lot of things on eBay. eBay is a weird market these days. It's not like it was in the early 2000s. 
where you could just easily make like millions of dollars there. Amazon or eBay? I prefer shopping on, on Amazon, but I prefer selling on eBay. Amazon's a nightmare to be a seller on. Uh, listen, just go to random houses, tell them you clean the garden for some easy money. That's true. You can do that. People will pay for that kind of service for sure. I do that and I earn about 50 pounds each week. That's not bad. So if you can score yourself some easy money like that, yeah, that's that's not bad. My my biggest scare would though would be literally um, just like selling it on eBay, going to the store and buying it and then shipping it out and only to find out that right before you got there, somebody bought it. Because if you don't have the product to ship to the buyer, eBay dings you. And then do that like three times and they'll close your account. So that's that's why that scares me. Who lives in an apartment building under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, lives in an apartment building? See, that's pretty decent. I miss, I kind of miss living in an apartment building. I, I had, I lived in a building with four apartments and uh, it was quite interesting. Very, very interesting to say the least. Um, just having those neighbors being that close to you. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy. So yeah, anyway, let's, uh, Craigslist best site for human teeth back scratcher. Could you still get away with that with Craigslist? I feel like Craigslist has gone through so many lawsuits and like for different things or in different changes. For example, like the personal sites and everything else. Like you can't go and do, um, you can't go and look for like female for female and stuff like that. All the personals are gone. I'm not sure how, how well their filter is. Side hustle Craigslist. Like Craigslist is, is decent. I don't know how many people are using Craigslist these days still. I feel like if you're buying something, you're probably relatively still using Craigslist, if that makes sense. But, you know, another good place, and I think that is a direct compete, uh, competitor for Craigslist, is uh, Facebook Marketplace. I hate Facebook, but their marketplace is kind of solid. Old people help them to clean and do shit. See, that's pretty good, too. There's always a side hustle. What is your side hustle? Like Freshy Boy is sharing his. Mine is selling filter bags on eBay. Does does everybody here have a side hustle? I've never asked that before. If you do and you want to share it, let me know. I'd love to hear what you're what you got going on. Um, I used to sell candy when I was in school. That was a side hustle. I used to shovel driveways when I was a teenager uh, in Connecticut. Every time it would snow, I'd go house to house and shovel driveways. Um, I worked for a company on the side when I was in the military installing networks in uh in elementary and middle schools in north carolina uh i've done i've owned my own screen printing shop i've owned my own embroidery shop i've owned my own uh t-shirt press shop like making custom t-shirts i i've done so much for side hustles uh, i'd be interested in hear what you guys have going on for a side hustle a uh, psychotic i've n i haven't had too uh, like i haven't had bad luck on craigslist like buying certain things. I guess it depends what you're buying. Uh, being in care means I get paid. Oh, well, there's that. Because <laughs> you need to carry stuff. It's always good to get a workout. I agree with you there. I absolutely agree with you there. Jack, got a question about that story where the guy was selling a picture of a PS5. Um, as long as your listing says it's for a picture of a PS5. I feel like it's a scumbag move, obviously, taking advantage of somebody's uh, inattention or inability to recognize that it's not what it seems. So I think eBay would probably always reverse that. And even then, you could just do a, a chargeback. You could easily return the item. Uh, if you sell anything on Amazon or eBay, even if you put no returns, uh, eBay forces you to do the returns anyway. You don't get a choice. So you're probably wasting your time and you're negatively building your eBay uh, profile by doing something like that. I would, I would not do that. I would think that that's, it's kind of a scummy thing. Your neighbor's cars and gardens for money. See, that's good, man. See, you know how to, you know how to make some money, Ricky. That's nice. I don't know where you guys live, like what country or anything, but, um, but yeah, any of those kind of services, that's huge. There's a lot of scalpers on eBay. 
absolutely. But you know, there's there is the money back guaranteed. Um, eBay, your credit card company, um, will make sure that you get your money and everything's right. So, yeah. Uh, he's not wrong, but you know he has to take the return. So if you mail back the picture, you got to get your money back. So he's not wrong. I don't know how eBay would rule against it, but he would have to accept the return. So I think he's wasting his own time. Like nobody's going to get the picture and be like, oh, he got me. They'll be like, no, I want my $500 back. And they'll go through the process. It'll end up costing you more in the end because you have to pay for the shipping as a seller. Right. So you have to pay for the shipping. Uh, that money is the chargeback is going to go against you. Um, I just think it's not worth doing that to somebody. Because in the end, that seller will pay the larger price. And between time and money, you'll be wasting it. I help your neighborhoods, cleaners, workers, clean out the snow and get about. See, that's pretty awesome. That's nice, man. Yeah, that's kind of what I used to do. Uh, no one in the right mind would generally order a picture of a console. No, and that's why like, it would be looked at as fraud. It, it, it would be in a fraudulent way. But I would, I would definitely recommend that you don't do that. Perfect answer. Offer up is getting bigger out there. Also, uh, see, I don't know anything about offer up. That's an interesting one. Wait, what is offer up? Let's look at that. Um, they need it for a project or something. They could just print it. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Like, I don't think any platform is going to be like, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, what is offer up? Is that that app? It's like another, I think I have this on my phone, actually. Do I have this on my phone? I feel like I have seen this before. Um, hold on one second. Offer up. I feel like it's something. I may have actually taken it off my phone as well. No, I have it. It's offer up. I do have it on my phone. I am familiar with this. Uh, for anybody that's not familiar with this, this is what he's talking about. I, which it's it's a bigger site. It's basically an online you know flea market. Um, I don't know why it's showing all like Washington and Arizona, but yeah, there it is. If that's what you're looking for, um, just don't scam. Just be real. As, yeah, like I it, that's it's really easy to be a decent human being, right? Just I I never go out of my way to try to like do somebody dirty or scam somebody. Like I would never. Like it just doesn't even feel good. But like, I don't know, like there's some desperate people out there. Desperate people do desperate thing things. I once saw a Bitcoin mine with like a gazillion. Oh my God. I actually did have a 19 card uh, Bitcoin miner. I took it apart though. I didn't have 19 cards. It could have up to 19 cards. I think I had nine, nine or 11. I had a lot of cards in there. Um, <laughs> Dorian's back there getting up on his, his tower. So this is offer up. I uh, I'm not familiar with it too much. I do have the app. I think when it first came out, somebody was like, "Yeah, put it on offer up," and I was like, "Check it out, dude! You can get army pants. Nice, thirty bucks. It's in Tacoma. It's outside a uh, uh, joint. Lewis McCord. Is that what it is? Lewis McCord. Anyway, or no, no, no. That would be out of Seattle. So that would be out of um." Is it McCord? Yeah, I think it is McCord. When I was about 16, 18, I sold a box of uh, an Xbox. People bid about that. Jesus Christ. And to, yeah, but see, people don't read descriptions. But see, something like that, I mean, while it's kind of funny for the pranks, like, in the end, it'll literally cost you. Like, like physically, it'll cost you. Um, the guy did it said explicitly that this is not a, yeah, yeah, no, nobody reads the description. Right. But it's no different than like nobody reading the article on Reddit. Like nobody reads the article on Reddit. You're wearing army pants right now. <laughs> nice. And I haven't wore camouflage since I retired. I'd only scam bad people. All right. I'd, I'd be okay. If you like, if you were like, what's his name? Kit, Kit, uh, I, the guy that, that gets everybody, uh, gets the scammers. I can't remember it. Kit, Kit Booga, Kit Abuga, or something like that. I think he goes by. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, scamming Hitler probably wouldn't be a bad thing. I agree. I own a Bitcoin. I have it on a thousand pound. Really? You have a Bitcoin? That's pretty cool. That's, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. People will come to your house and punch you if you scam them. If they know your address. I'll be honest. Today we did pretty well as far as like just chatting goes. Ew, it's the elderly. What's up, Lockable? Good to see you, man. How are you today? We did quite a bit today, believe it or not. I mean, I'm I'm actually kind of impressed with what we, we were able to accomplish. Let's check uh, in on the Unjacked Twitter real quick. Let's get a good refresh. We're at 91 followers. Look at us. Look at us over here booming away. Dude, this is going to be so good. Um, yeah, we get some love. We get some hearts over here. It's not bad. Like, you got to start somewhere at the end of the day. You got to start somewhere. Yeah, we'll get there. Three notifications. What do we got? Okay, there's Freshy Boy liking all my stuff. I appreciate you. Thank you. You play Roblox? See, I can't play it. I can't play Roblox. I'm too old. Like, I'm literally too old. It just becomes creepy. Like, honestly, I, I would not be proud of myself if I was a Roblox streamer and I had to look at myself in the mirror, you know? I'd have to look at myself right in the eye and be like, I play Roblox on Twitch. And then as I, I start sobbing and I realize where I went wrong and I'm like, not like this, not today. Yeah, that'd be rough. Uh, still sick with the COVID. So while I hope that gets better, I may also have been um, exposed. I don't know. I have no idea, man. That thing is moving fast, dude. I'm afraid to go outside, but you know, anybody can catch you at school, at work. doesn't matter. Um, bought it for the price and yeah, I mean, if you got a Bitcoin, that's pretty amazing, dude. That's worth a lot of money. Like literally worth a ton of money. Just watch a Sundar dragon cheer on children. Nice. Hey, I won't mind you. You just do your thing over there, man. I'm not saying Roblox is bad. Like that's not what I'm getting at. Like Roblox itself is a decent game. Uh, the issue is I'm just too old to be playing it. So I, I don't want you guys to take it like I'm shitting on the game. I'm not. My my kids play it. You can buy private servers and only play with other people. I, it's just the fact uh, of how I look at it. I just, I literally can't do it. Yeah, private among us is better than public for sure. We used to always do private rooms. Literally, everybody, we would use my Discord and we would play among us and we'd only do private. I don't know any other streamers to invite to my private server, so it wouldn't really help me. Someone is remaking a Sonic game on Roblox and they got programmed. I mean, it's pretty amazing stuff. I, I'm just saying, like, I don't feel comfortable playing it. I'm just being honest. I'm not saying it's bad for anybody else. Uh, look, just play Among Us. <laughs> Wait, hey, look, Junk plays Among Us. Yeah. It was like, God Tycoon? I have not seen God Tycoon. I used to like uh, Railroad. Railroad Tycoon is one of my favorites. Rainbow Six is a good game. Yeah, Rainbow Six is a good game. There's a lot of really good games out there. But honestly, I'm not really in the mood to play video games um, too much. I do play collaborative games at night. I just, during the day, I really like more of the just chatting or even like a podcast feel. Like just during the day is me hanging out with you guys. You know, Hangman was like a lot of fun. Um, I'd like to do more of those if you guys want to uh, do some in the future. I, I would absolutely love to. I'd like to get some more um, of the IRL competitions going on. Do like a spelling bee, get the hangman going. Uh, Quaver? I don't know what Quaver is. Uh, also here in England, everyone has like 10 shirts, 3 coats. What? <laughs> Why do they have so much stuff, man? Uh, your kids, Yeah, my kids play Roblox. Try your best to body them at whatever game. Uh, listen, I would hate to ruin your parade right now, but um, my kids are actually pretty competitive in video games. Like I, they, they could easily go into uh, esports. Like th yeah, they they're good. They, my two youngest have the same battle station that I have. Three monitors with a thirty-four inch ultra wide in the middle. Like literally. Like, like I'm just waiting for them to be comfortable to stream. They have everything else. Like they're ready to go. Followed you on Twitter. There you go. Hey, I appreciate that. I just saw that, that notification too, um, to annihilate them. I, good luck, man. I, honestly, I don't know if you could. They're extremely competitive. 
Oh, because it's cold? Yeah, it's super cold here. It's like zero degrees here, man. Uh, Quaver is a rhythm game. Oh, those are cool. Have you seen the it's that uh, Beat Saber or something like that? The VR game? That's really cool. I mean, they've been playing games their entire lives. I mean, I, I'm a tech guy. So, like, they've had access to every console. Um, my son's had a full-blown Battle Station computer since he's, like, eight years old. So, like, yeah, these, these guys are, like, lifelong gamers. You know, I would say three out of five of my, my kids are, are like, like very into gaming. Guess what game you're playing right now? I would say if I had to guess some like Stardew Valley or something, what games do they play? Um, my sons play a lot of like FPSs, Destiny 2, Halo Infinity, like a bunch of those. Um, my daughter gets more into like Roblox and some of the more casual games out there. If I beat your child, I'll become your child. Jesus. I don't want to have to support more human beings. If you if you want to play. What? Oh, the hangman? We're going to be wrapping up here in a few minutes. I, I'm not feeling all that great. I kind of got a headache and stuff. Uh, streaming does take confidence. You know, and, and they see me do it. They see how mine's going. And they're very supportive of my stream. And I really appreciate that about them. Um but at the end of the day, hey, <laughs> thank you, Matthew. I've been I've been catching your stream actually the whole time. You've been rocking today, man. Four hours and 27 minutes. He is freaking great. Anyway, thank you, Matthew. I appreciate you. I swear I could. Yeah, well, I mean, maybe you, you might. Listen, no matter how good you are, there's always somebody in this world that is better than you. And that isn't anything. That's whether it's cooking, cleaning, video games, driving, whatever it is in life that you're doing, just know there is somebody better than you at what you do. So it's hard for me to argue that. Uh, watch Watch Dogs 2? I've never seen any of them. I, I don't know. Um, I haven't seen either one of those games. Wreck Your Child and FPS? I, I don't know. I literally don't know, and you don't know either. I just know my son is extremely competitive with his uh, his clan. I think he's the the leader of his clan, so I don't know. They're all they're all sixteen to eighteen years old, so I don't know how old you are. I don't know, but they're pretty fucking good. I'll tell you that. I just wish he would stream. He's competitive. He could do it. I'm feeling very tired for some reason. Yeah, me too. I kind of got a good night's sleep. I've been getting a good night's sleep, but. I haven't really been feeling that great. No cam, no nothing, just fresh gameplay. Yeah. Well, you'll build the confidence to add a, a cam eventually, I'm sure. I mean, if you're not even doing audio, I can't imagine that's very entertaining. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen I, I won't I don't watch streams that have that have no cams or like I won't watch any streamer that doesn't have a webcam or uh or audio. I won't raid a streamer that doesn't either. Destiny 2 is a really good game, but they added, yeah, yeah. He tells me all about it. I have not, I have not played it myself, so I don't know. Um, it's just gonna be very hard to uh, to just grow on Twitch with straight gameplay. In my experience, maybe you're better than than that. I don't know. Uh, Watch Dogs look fun. I haven't, I have not seen it, so I don't know. Leak their gamer tags and I'll beat them up. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do that. I, I respect my children's if listen, if any of my kids go into streaming and they're comfortable with that, with that right there, I'll be happy to, I would be happy to tell you what their streaming handles are, but as long as they're private, I will never, I will never. My first game was an FPS. I used to play FPS. My first FPS game that I used to play, um, besides like unreal tournament was probably, um, tribes. Does anybody remember tribes? I feel like that was the original red versus blue. I don't know. Um, I suck at it now though. I don't have the hand eye coordination. Oh, vile flag Pokemon. I, yeah, see, I don't even play those type of games. Black ops zombies is so good, man, especially, um, black ops two. Black ops one is pretty good too, though. 
I can only play with them if they're on PlayStation. Uh, we have a PlayStation 5 and 4, but they don't use it. They don't have, uh, like, the, the PlayStation network. You play Black Ops? Long time ago, man, like 10 years ago. I would get drunk and go up and play zombies or play Black Ops with everybody. My favorite is Nuketown, dude. Easy. All day, every day, Nuketown. Let's go. Black Ops 3 was a little bit weird, especially on like the survival mode. That It was interesting, but it, like my sons play a lot of zombies. Oh, my youngest son is amazing at zombies. He's incredible to watch. Is Buried? Buried's pretty good too, but my favorite's Nuketown all day. All right, listen, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I, my throat's not hurt. I, I don't know. I am starting to think maybe I do have COVID. I just, I don't know, like I'm sore, you know, but it could be from shoveling. I just, uh, I don't know, man. I have no idea. I'm overthinking it. I've got to like round 50. Yeah. My son has as well. I, I don't know what his highest round is lately, but I'll have to ask him. I'll ask him. And when he tells me, I'll let you know. First game play was world of Warcraft. Best game. Uh, world of Warcraft three and below I've played. I've never played the MMO of World of Warcraft. Well, I guess, no, World of Warcraft is the MMO. Warcraft 3 was more of the real-time strategy game. Uh, you sound very tired. Have a rest. Yeah, it, it, I just, I don't know. Um, you know, it is what it is. Stream ending? Uh, yeah, no, no, it was, dude. That was, like, seriously a lot of fun. I, I appreciate you sharing your works. Like it takes a lot of confidence to, to put yourself out there like that too. So, um, I appreciate that. I do. Your new discord is Soviet SWAT team. That's an interesting uh, name. I like that. Yeah. But I, I drifted from COD. I still play latest installments. I just like more casual games these days. I, you know, I like path of exile. That's the only game I really like playing. Like after the stream ends, I'm literally going to go eat lunch and then I'm going to go play Path of Exile. That's that's what I'm going to do. You guys are always welcome to play Path of Exile with me. I literally have a guild. My guild name is called the Jackers. If you play Path of Exile, which is free, you can always join the guild. Absolutely. What is Soviet SWAT? I'm not even sure. It sounds interesting, though. What is Path of Exile? Uh, it's a... Uh, here I'll show you. Uh, oh, wait, wait, not trade though. Hold on one second. Uh, this is, yeah, you can see up here. I, I'm a, right now, I'm a level 95 elementalist. Uh, it's on PC. I wouldn't play it on a console though. A console sucks, dude. Um, it's a, it's an ARPG. I'm trying to see these are who's live right now. It's an ARPG. I've played it a little bit on stream before, but anyway, Jack, what if, uh, members of your guild fight, uh, would that be called uh, a Jack off? Yes. 100%. <laughs> Everybody get into the Jack off ring. Let's go. Uh, I'll check out path of exile. I might join you. It's, it's a lot of fun. It really is. And, um, the new league is going to start in about two to three weeks from now. And I think it's going to be incredibly fun. So anyway, I would love to have you guys. If you guys ever do join in Path of Exile, this is the only game that I play when I'm not streaming. I do not play any of the games I stream off stream. So um, yeah, if you're looking to see like what I'm up to, this is it, man. So anyway, guys, thank you for being here today. Like, honestly, it's, it's really awesome to have people show up when you just want to do just chatting. Um, not a big RPG. No, it's an ARPG. It's not an RPG. Um, it's, it's slightly different. So, yeah. In the jack offering, let's go. Actually, I always, uh, <laughs> believe it or not. So, me being able to get unjacked as a character name was crazy. Because normally I do unjacked underscore off or one or two or three. And I just like, I have fun with the names. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Anyway, me and the Jack offs over here. Um, guys, thank you, man. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate the follows. Um, you guys are always like really supportive 
and I, I appreciate you uh, more than you can imagine. So uh, thank you to everybody today that dropped those follows. Thank you for everybody that that chatted with me, hung out with me. Uh, we'll do it again tomorrow as long as I'm feeling good. So I, I can't tell you day to day how I'm going to feel. But right now I was feeling good enough to give you guys three hours of a stream. And uh, I had fun. I hope you guys did too. My name is usually not used. Yeah, well, it's all right. Oh, you can caps lock if you want. Can you accept my request on Discord? What, what's the request? All right. There you go. Ev, let's see. All right, there you go. I just accepted. All right, um, let me see. Anybody else? Wish you the best man. Oh, oh, wish you the best man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'll be fine. I'm triple vax, so I'm not worried about it. I'm literally not worried about it. The only bummer is I wouldn't be able to leave my house for like 10 days. Uh, Jack, thanks for accepting. Hey, you're welcome. You're very welcome. Um, thank you guys for everything. Hi for the veggies name. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, guys. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can drop me uh, direct links right to your works. I appreciate you guys. All right, listen, let's go again tomorrow, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm planning for it. If there's any change in that, I will try to post it on Twitter, but I will absolutely tell you in Discord. Okay, so I always try to update any kind of last minute stuff in the Discord. I don't have anybody to raid. I literally don't have anybody on my list in just chatting that I could raid. That's what we were talking about earlier. I'm trying to fix that. I need to go meet other just chatting streamers um, that I can raid. Like, I, so I, I need to check them out first before I just go ahead and do that. I don't usually uh, just, you know, drop it in like that. Um, yeah, so th there is that. Anyway, guys, I'm out for the day. I'll be back tomorrow morning. I can't wait. And uh, thank you. If I catch any of you guys streaming tonight, I might be in your stream. I hope you entertain me, and I look forward to that. Uh, Discord, exclamation mark, Discord. Let's get that up there for him. All right. Uh, there. Oh, somebody already linked it. Thank you very much. Uh, I can never stream just chatting. It's hard. It's literally hard. The reason why, I'll, I'll answer this before I go. The reason why I can't just raid anybody is because everybody will leave almost immediately. It'll be embarrassing to the streamer I just raided, and it'll be embarrassing to me. I always raid in the same category. Otherwise, you will get almost nothing out of that raid. So anyway, thank you guys for being here with me. I really mean that. So um, we'll do it again tomorrow. I'll try to give you guys some a little bit more entertaining, uh, entertaining content as well. Join the server. I can't wait to see you over there, Ricky. Thank you so much. Appreciate the support. Bye, guys. I'm out. Okay. I gotta pee real quick. All right, listen. Go, go, go get All right, all right. Yo, all right, listen. My edible just kicked in. I just need people to, to hear me. This edible, I can feel. Oh my god. Yo, I need to pee so bad. I gotta pee real quick. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pee real quick. Yo, NA is a server. I got room for two. I gotta pee so bad though. I really, really gotta pee. All right, yo, yo. So the next round, go, go, go get him, Jack. I gotta go pee is what I need to do. Just a man in his dream to be heard. That's it. I gotta hold this together. If anybody wants to play and you're new here, get in here. I gotta hold this together. I gotta pee so bad. Very, very strong. Very, very strong. It's hard. It's a hard life. I gotta pee real quick. <gasps> Jesus. I gotta go pee is what I need to do. This is the worst. Okay. I gotta pee real quick. All right, listen. Go, go, go get all right, all right. Yo, all right, listen. My edible just kicked in. I just need people to, to hear me. This edible, I can feel. Oh my God. Yo, I need to pee so bad.